Baby, welcome to the party. Give me a P. Give me a D. Hey y'all, it's your favorite girls back again with a new episode, Petty Party Podcast. It's your girl Amakalette coming out the set. What's good? Hey y'all, it's your girl Crystal, aka Champagne Chris, aka Chris F. Baby. Please say the baby. You could have joined in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Michelle. Oh, hey y'all. Sorry, I'm so y'all, Joy's not here today. I'm used to her being next. But it's your girl Michelle, aka Shelly Shell, aka Egypt the Few Nasty. Hey everyone, it's Just Nick checking in, and we have a special guest with us. And I am honored to introduce Tana. <laughs> yeah, the people's Rumble. champs, the people's fave. I know y'all have seen her before on our yeah. episodes, yeah. and we always love when she is in the studio with us. So go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey y'all, uh, this is Tan. I am one half of Hear Ye Podcast, mm-hmm. and thank you for having me. Mm-hmm. Welcome back. Welcome thank back. you. It's always a thank pleasure. You. Yeah, we always have fun. No, literally, honestly, yeah. y'all. This so, is interesting, y'all. Yeah. Last time Tana was here, Nikki wasn't here. Yeah, I, was, I wasn't oh, here. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. So I'm interested to see the dynamic with yeah. being between two sisters. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> I know. How do it's you feel? Dynamic. How do you feel uh, sitting between us? <sighs> Um, I mean regular, but (laughs) (laughs) but I am interested because I feel like Nikki is just she loves to go against the grain. Yeah. And oh, whenever I listen to y'all, I be like, no, Nikki. And, and Tana Nikki. be standing on 10. Yeah. Right. right. Or stand on business. <laughs> Nikki, but y'all, what y'all have a like is that y'all are both really un- unapologetic when it comes to y'all opinions. So mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that. this is true. Mm-hmm. This is That's true. definitely an Ijama. Yeah. 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 We was just right. It, <laughs> it's just in us. <laughs> the realness. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we're going to go ahead and jump into our moto. And this is from one of our listeners. And we always are so appreciative whenever y'all write into us. So make sure y'all keep sending us emails, DMs. We'll read it. We promise. Hi, ladies. I'm in desperate need of advice. The, this past Memorial Day, my best friend, 19 years of friendship, and I went to a party with three of our other friends. She was supposed to be the designated driver between the five of us. Between the five of us, only her and I have our licenses. So there's that. That night, I saw her drink excessively to the point that her speech was beginning to slur. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that's, not funny. that's crazy when you're watching your designated driver yeah. start drinking <laughs> oh my god it's like dang that's, that's what Hang you slowly it's like you I can't sh- even have fun you slowly no watch the responsibility up. transition over yeah. to you yeah. and I've been in this situation Somebody. multiple times yeah yeah no oh, and why I are that person here? this sounds like she's looking at Paulette I'm screaming um, I'm really against drinking and driving so I took her keys and because I had two drinks because I was assured that she was driving and again even though I wasn't drunk I stayed true to my convictions in regards to not drinking and driving I called my father and he gladly took me and all my friends home. When my friend got safely home, her parents got mad at her for being too drunk. In response, she got mad at me. So I responded with, and I quote, I don't know. I would rather have your parents yelling at you drunk or at drunk, drunk you for drinking than them crying over you because you're hurt, hurt somebody or worse. We're really close friends. The term we go back to the sandbox is quite literal. My parents look at her like their child, vice versa. In a fit of rage, my friend sent my very traditional and Christian mother pictures slash videos of me drunk on my birthday, oh, drunk, at, drunk oh. at college parties with oh. with college friends, etc. Which right. in turn made my parents upset. As a tw- as a twenty year old, I try to brush a lot of things off because we're young, but I find what she did very shady and unloyal she's never done something like this before should i chalk it up as a lapse in judgment on her part mm. or should i take offense and cut her off as a friend thanks uh for your advice best regards immediately LG. cut her off yeah. immediately that's a op that's, that's a, a whole big op. Op. Whole op that's a big <laughs> op hell no and don't let your parents be african child if parents got that no, video she's not gonna hear the end oh, that's of it I'm, I'm, like, I'm gonna keep what? i'm gonna keep up with y'all I'm pulling up and whooping her ass. No, yeah, she needs to. Ask, I'm she needs, she needs her, her ass. I'm not gonna lie. I'm oh, not gonna lie. And I'm, and I'm, no, I'm we can resort to things lie. without violence, guys. Not yeah. that one. Because, because I'm not gonna lie. You, maybe because I'm. If you I'm send my parents, if you send my parents, my thing is, and you know the intention, and that's what's crazy. Yeah. It's not even like you don't know if my parents are laxist. You probably know my parents are strict, but your intention is to get me in trouble yeah. by my parents. Right. I just right. feel like there's certain that's things you crazy. do because I can relate to that story because back when I was in college, like y'all, you know, we used to study. I would take like, you know, something and like, y'all <laughs> know what it is. Well, it some people don't. Low key, no, yeah, Adderall. Adderall. Yeah, Adderall. Yeah. And so, you were I, prescribed. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Right. And going. my doctor. I'm by the, that's by not the street the, doctor. Yeah, by, by the street doctor. <laughs> and um, the street doctor one day, you know, we were talking about like picking up my RX or whatever. And like I had told them, <laughs> just I'll wait cry. on it and I'll get the RX the next day. It's late. My parents went out to a party. Like it's just I'm falling asleep. My doctor still came and put the RX with the actual prescription in my mailbox and then left the mailbox open. Ooh. And one thing my parents do, they always drive the they they'll drive and look at the front of the house. I don't know, it's just like as security. And then go in the back. My parents saw the the mailbox open and saw what was inside. Y'all, my mom woke me up. They got back at like four in the morning. My mom woke me up at like like four fifteen yeah. and poured all the substance on my bed Jesus. and was like, who is this for? I was like, I don't know. I don't know nothing. She was like, so then my doctor proceeded to put a note with my name on it. Oh my <laughs> letter. Oh my God. Telling them that what it was, it, what it wasn't, what it wasn't. She was like, I need this person's parents information. Now I need to call them now. We, this is like, my mom wanted to like, honestly, like go legal. Cause she was like, what is going on? Like, was she trying to set you up? Like what? Like my mom was furious and y- y- y'all know Christine. Yeah. And she don't play them games. Yeah. And so I'm sorry, like to speak to your friend, I, I, I have to whip her ass and we're not friends anymore because I just feel like doing stuff like that. Like you're trying to like, First of all, you're trying to mess up my name, especially why would you mess? Why would you want to ruin my credibility with my parents? You feel like that was intentional, I, though. Yes, I do. You were upset because I called, took you home drunk. But what would you want to do? Us crying over your casket? Like, what would you prefer? Wait, like, wait, no, I'm talking wait. about your story. My would story. You feel like she put it in there intentionally yes, to get you in I trouble? Do. Yes, I do. I don't know any right street doctor that does that. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> I don't know any the doctor is crazy. that does that. That I, writes a note to the, their patient. The I, was, I didn't <laughs> know. No, no. Intention to get know. you in trouble is crazy. I do know the situation. I don't think. It was a situation. Oh my god! Every time, just every. Let's just stick to the moto. Let's just. I'm just saying. I don't think it was intentional, but I do think it was reckless. Yeah, it very much so. That's why I was like, it's it's a little bit different because her intent was to get her in trouble, and I feel like in situations like this, Mm -hmm. intent matters. I mean, she was still wrong in your situation, but I'm Mm -hmm. talking about the moto, like. I think intent matters in But I think her like friend things. misread like her friend's notion of like calling the father and having yeah. everyone safely she did. get home. She like did. I don't think she was trying to get you in trouble. She, she was wasn't. just looking out for everybody. But at the same time. Okay. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie, and sweetie that wrote in, like, I understand <laughs> that you have you understood your intent, but at the same time, what she did is probably what, what you did felt like. Cause I was in a situation oh, like that too, okay, where uh-huh. like I, I had gotten into some trouble or whatever. And all, all my friends who see I don't wanna do that, but yeah. friends who really know me, like the way they handled it compared to how someone else handled it was completely different. Someone, Everyone else was like, okay, let's try to figure out how we can rectify this without getting her parents involved. Someone else completely called my parents like, what's up? This is what's happening. And in my head, I'm just like, dang, wow. for you to involve my parents so quickly in that situation, I felt like there was a plan B. And I felt like you doing that, you don't know what my life is at home. Thankfully, it worked out because I needed my parents in that situation. But there are a lot of people who just like their parents, how they view them and their their parents' opinion mm-hmm. of them matters, matters. to them a lot. Mm-hmm. And so their home life can completely change because you just have to call them drunk. So to her, it probably felt intentional because she's yeah. like, if yeah. I talk to you all the time about how strict my parents are, if I'm drunk, why would you call my parents? And low key, in this day of Uber, was your friends, it. why yeah. you put it, why was your parents Uber the wasn't first that. Result? Uber was, oh yeah, oh, never mind. Sorry. Yeah. But, Cause so yeah, it's like, I'm not going to lie. If someone was to call, the, what she initially did is probably how it felt how like. It felt, yeah. yeah. No, but you yeah, know definitely, what? Definitely. But to be honest with relate. you, Sorry. um, the the writer, she probably has a really close relationship with her parents because to even be able to call your parents yeah, in a situation you up and come pick you and up. And you're just like, you know what? I know that at the end of the day, my parents are gonna be happier that I called them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then than to do something yeah. reckless. Yeah, because I, I could, do. Ag- go ahead, sorry. sorry. I do agree with the fact. Like, I'm like, dang, like, okay, wasn't Uber, but then again, they're young, so yeah, who knows if they right. had the money for that, whatever the case may be. And then only two out of five have their driver license. But at the same time, I feel like her friend was Uber like, my parents really know accept, I drink. Now your parents don't. You. But drink. remember, Uber doesn't really accept yeah. like intoxicated people, so no telling what the situation was yeah. like. You know what I mean? So and then not that even just that. Option. It's like That's your true. friend. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, your friend, she is the one who decided to start drinking knowing that she was a designated driver. So at the end of the day, like she just has to accept those consequences. I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, but how many times does that happen? Are you you to make me have a like, hey, it, has, it has happened, but at the same time, like that's whenever better judgment needs to come into place. Like, if you know that you cannot go to a party, like in not be the designated driver even then though that's what we yeah, yeah, don't do it don't do stop it signing up. which, which I understand I things happen guys oh no 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 <laughs> like, I think at this yeah, point like <laughs> but they're Drinks 20 don't have they're, they're 21 they're 20. I feel like yeah they're 20 even younger I feel like we've all possibly been in a situation where even designated driver or not we've seen a friend get too drunk 
who and I think don't think the first option was call their parents have them pick them up but she it called her parents but that's what I'm saying I think it, it depends and on she the, called her parents the thing is she called her parents and the issue the reason why the girl got in trouble is because her parents saw her drunk so regardless I'm kind of confused because the writer who, so, called whose parents her, her own parents, parents, she, called, parents she, called her, she called her own parents oh the girl the basically, she called, oh, I thought the, she called the other girl's the girl parents. Oh. friends parents the, no okay. she called she called her she said she called her dad and her dad dropped her friend off at home and her friend got in trouble because her, her parents, parents saw her drunk. her parents saw oh, her drunk. oh no actually okay, okay. that, that okay. changes but the what whole yeah. thing. it does the girl's friend basically tried to even the playing field not understanding that no like no that, she's that's evil. not her what friend's we wrong. do like her your friend wrong. is wrong yeah, yeah. like just because that, that's your consequence because you were the designated driver like unfortunately that's what happens when you don't hold up your end of the bargain but like now for you to retaliate and send my parents to meet at a birthday party at that like that's a place why like, are you texting a safe space like why would you do that why are you texting my mom and dad videos videos I'm like, wild yeah it's so crazy because i have like most people's parents numbers here and i would never ever yeah no people i would wear though people ever are, that's like, an interesting ever. situation that's, that's not your friend situation. it's not and yeah. back to the Honestly, sandbox enemy. like regardless of the fact, matter look they're ops she probably been doing forms. stuff like that yeah like ops come in all forms yeah. all Low years key. all Low shapes key. and colors you like you see rugrats angelica was tommy's op and they were cousins so like it don't <laughs> matter screaming. it don't matter it don't matter <laughs> like dead. it doesn't matter how long you've known someone like so, so once someone does that that's it you're not friends anymore For sorry because sure. mm. that, that that does change the dynamic in your household towards your parents now because now your parents think you just party and drink all the time mm-hmm. yeah wildly it's crazy <laughs> but anyways y'all we're gonna move over to petty chronicle and it's gonna be short and simple and not sweet but so so um yeah so i'm on um a dating app and i met someone and like you know we hit it off everything was cool and like you know we got out of the dating app and like you know we're texting each other and so like everything has been cool but like he's been really slow on like you know Everything's always like, what are you doing? Hey, beautiful. Ah, ah, ah. So I'm like, okay. I started, I, I kind of like dialed it back a little bit. I was like, you know, I'm not going to really respond anymore because like he ain't really talking about much. Mm-hmm. And so, y'all, literally just the other day, he was like, oh, hey, how are you? This and that. Um, how have you been? I was like, I've been doing well. So I was like, oh, what are your plans for this weekend? You know, just trying to spark up conversation. And he was like, oh, I have a party to go to this on Saturday night and a day party Saturday afternoon. Don't know why he said it in that order. But I, he was like, do you want to come? And I was like, well, I think that would kind of be awkward to go to a party with someone I just met around people I don't know. Don't you think? And he was like, OK, so what would you like to do? I was like, well, you tell me. He was like, we can go to the park. We can meet at the park or Starbucks. Y'all stop responding back huh? to him. Oh, but pull it. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, y'all that's know where crazy. I was going. It's crazy. Y'all know where I was going. Y'all, and, 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 y'all know where I was going. I knew when yeah. I got You let manifested me. it. No, you, no, you didn't. It. Okay, let me, <laughs> hold on. Yeah. For the listeners, pause this real call quick. Away. Pause on. For the, the last listeners. episode, I did, I did say why there's a negative connotation with people with coffee dates. <laughs> that's not even what I was about to say. You pick, said um, you were going on a coffee date. I would go on a coffee date, but mm-hmm. I, this is the first day. Okay, see, no. See. I need to clarify because I think you see, you're probably confused and the listener's probably confused too. I don't have an issue with coffee dates and being in the park, but I feel like as a first date, be creative and put your best foot forward. If he would have said that have a is, picnic was the topic. in the park, Come in, come, no, in, come that in, was, please. No, that, Step no, in. So guys, that was the topic for last. That was. I don't need to argue on something that's on footage. Go read, go watch <laughs> it. No, no Paula, 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 Paula. We, were, we were talking about first day. Yeah, we, we clarified were. actually. That was a in whole part. That was a whole. That was a whole list. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> what I was talking about, I wasn't really. Then honestly, I should have. Ref- I should have been more. I should have clarified what I was talking about. I wasn't talking about first date, going to meet up in a park and sit down. That's not what I was. I wasn't. I didn't. I wasn't trying to speak. But well, we didn't that. say park. We, you said coffee day. But whatever. What Starbucks. So he said meet up at the park or Starbucks. And I'm not gonna lie. I just felt. I felt like okay. Like you've been doing a lot of talking and like you're not really being serious. You know what? I'm just gonna bow out because I don't think. I don't think you want what I want. And yeah. I'm just. Mm-hmm. It's. It just sounds like you're not putting in enough effort like you said or a Starbucks like it was just not even right. like a yeah. you know what I'm saying like especially coming off just, the heels of that list I would have been like it's not, it's not even <laughs> oh, no, okay it's not even about a list it's, to me it's just like be creative with an effort like something like it could have been like oh let's go have a picnic in the park and like we can go um, throw axe throwing and then honestly we can go get coffee or something like it could have been creative that would require a man knowing how to date okay and, and a lot and of men don't know how to date and that's why I bowed out but I'm gonna be honest with you I'm not in the season of like training a man to not no 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 you know? and you don't yeah. have to do that yeah. but so I think the issue is like I, I don't I don't see an issue with like somebody wanting to like do a coffee date or if somebody wanted to do like you know something that's really not like one of the big lavish dates I don't mm-hmm. see an issue with that not being the first date yeah I think the issue in your situation 
is the fact that it went from do you want to go to a party with me to and then let's go do something pic- that I'm go just thinking off the cuff and the, or Starbucks. It's like and there's no thought in either side experience. of that. Yeah. And that's why I said, again, on the on the last episode and even at the live show, like, I just won't do a coffee date. Only mm-hmm. because, like, again, it's not your best foot forward. Like, yeah. it, I think it's a lazy effort. Like, mm-hmm. if you're truly interested in me, it doesn't, again, it's not a dollar amount. Mm-hmm. It's just the amount of effort that you put into something. And yeah. for me, coffee is lazy. To me, park and, is lazy. And now and seeing, so, I understand what you were sweating, saying. I, who the hell wants to go somewhere and sweat? Like, mm-hmm. you but, know what I mean? Like, the, the weather's so up and down. It's going to be right. hot. We start off and then mm-hmm. cold when we're walking. No, I don't want to do that. I'm but so now, like, like dissecting that topic, it, I it makes sense. I understand, yeah, like, but, I just, but it's for like first date. I just think it's unacceptable. It I was just, really. it was just kind of like you invited me to a party, and then that, like that was that was what we do next. Like that was just crazy. So you me. don't think like a park date could be thoughtful? No. If we, in uh, no if capacity, yeah, like, if there's if a, it's picnic, a picnic, yeah, there, it's a picnic. It depends on the sit and talk. It depends on the because there was one time I went to White Rock Lake, and this guy had set up like it was close to like sunset. He had set up like painting. Stop right there. And every set up. <laughs> yeah, but set that's up. thoughtful. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We're going to a park just to walk. Yeah, I'm he's not at, doing meet up at the park. But yeah, but like, a, I think a park date can be thoughtful. No, yeah. absolutely. With yeah, the setup, it, if yeah. that, what but you're talking we, about, I would love that. But I'm talking about a park just to like, we're just going to go and sit on the bench where the kid's supposed to be playing but, at. And, and watch you. We know, it's not we know what kind of park date he meant. He yeah. meant just like probably he walk around, that. sit he on the bench. That. He didn't mean that. But you don't know that. I would ask, like, what are we going to do at this park? No. Because the other option was Starbucks. Come on. I'll be real with you. I'm not going to lie. It's giving free. Because look, y'all, he sent that first and then sent that second. It wasn't in one. So I'm like, oh, no, no, no. You know what? And then y'all, he proceeded to then like keep texting and has been calling. No, we're done. Wow. And then I went on the app and un- like unmatched because I was just like, we need to. It never Maybe happened. he watched the episode. I don't care. <laughs> <Block>. <laughs> so I don't, no, no, he like, couldn't. I don't, I don't block leave my podcast. So it's like, but I'm just saying like, to me, it was just like, I'm not going to lie. Like, it kind of yeah. turned me off to even dating a drug. I'm just like, whoa, like, no. y'all are not really trying. So I didn't think. let that turn <laughs> you question off. question is, are you petty? I have to say, yeah, I, I, don't my, think, I don't think that you're petty in the sense that, like, you decide to stop talking to him. Um, but the only reason why I think you're petty is because you made your statement very clear, clear, clear on the, on the last just, episode okay. about you, you liking you know, coffee day. I just clarify what I meant by that. That's, That's what I'm true. saying. Whatever confu- what I just You're I'm perfectly you. fine. If you want to go on a coffee date, go on a coffee but date. I, okay. I you just don't want to do one with him. <laughs> it's not that. It's just like, y'all. I think like, it sounded good till t- t- time it's, came. It's and you was like, it don't sound like, that good. No <laughs> creative effort. Like, you went to a park and he set up a whole paint thing. That's different than someone saying, meet up at a park. Yeah. Yeah. What, bro? Like, wh- I'm and I'm not going to ask you what we're doing at a park. I'm just I'm not, not going to do that. that. Yeah, I wouldn't ask you That's insulting myself. Exactly. I know what we're doing at the park. And like, the answer is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But see, that's the problem with like men who are so used to just like going outside constantly. Mm-hmm. They don't know. I, I'm convinced they don't know how to date. They don't know how to date that doesn't include a hookah. They don't know how to date that doesn't include a club. Mm-hmm. They don't know how to date that doesn't include a section. Sex or a touching exactly like they don't they don't know how to date outside of like being outside you know what's interesting and sorry not to not to disagree too much but i feel like that's almost saving men i'm not gonna lie i feel like men do know how to date they just choose they no they don't because to say like this i don't think the reason he's offering park and coffee dates is because he doesn't know he that's the best he can come up with i just feel like he I think he just that's what like, he wants to do. I feel like that's do. a reflection. He wants a free and day. This is not no He wants a low effort person. At all. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's no I mean, shit at all. That's probably part you, of it. But I do feel like it's just it's a reflective of how you feel about the person that you're going mm-hmm. with. I'm not going to lie. And, because and, I feel like if you really, really, really like somebody, and, let's let's be so serious yeah. here. You're going to yeah. do something. A li- even if it's a little something. like. And I'm not going to lie. And that, you know what's crazy? That's what was going through my mind. Like, wait a second. I know yeah, you, you saw my page. That's not how. That is not even how I come on myself. So you know what? It's okay. Wrong, wrong, wrong person. It's okay. It's a, go find someone else. It's like, the wrong it's, match. Yeah, he'll, find, he'll find somebody who will Literally, accept no, all that. That will Cause, accept a part in Starbucks. Have you, have you ever seen a, a girl like talk about a guy like, oh, this guy ain't doing shit. Da, da, da. And you look at the guy and you're like, oh, wait, I've known girls he's dating in the past. Yeah. And he is that type of person, but you can tell right now he's not dating intentionally. Yeah. Yep. So he's probably just trying and to And that's smash. bingo. Yeah. You know what yeah. the crazy part is? Is that's what I realized. There is such a major difference between a guy that is trying to date you intentionally and a guy who's just trying to date. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I realized that like a guy who like can see something in you and he wants to be intentional with you. When I tell you he is going to go- shoot for the stars. Yeah, yeah. he is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In regards to, 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 to date But definitely. that comes down to he has to like you. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. You know what I mean? People date people they who don't, don't like, like them. them. That's what we yeah. say all the time. Date but, people who like you. Yeah. But I think that that is also kind of the issue with... Um, 
dating apps is because you come across so many people Mm -hmm. that I think that sometimes it takes away the capacity that you have to like somebody because you come across so many people and you're liking so many people and you're matching with so many people and you're having so many different conversations that sometimes it's hard to decipher if this person is actually worth putting that effort Mm -hmm. into and it might beat somebody but the fact that you're communicating with 10 other women you don't but know. That, but that, that is how surprised. dating is, though. You're, you are going out with different but I think people. It, but I think it's different. Whenever you... So when you're dating somebody and you meet them organically in person, you kind of already, like, have a a glimpse of who that person is. And it kind of gives you, like, that spark to, you know, want to be intentional mm-hmm. with them. Whereas, like, on a dating app, you don't know. All you know is based on what, what they put up on their profile. But same thing when you meet someone. All you see is what they want to show you. Yeah, just the representative. You don't, there, are a lot of, <laughs> there are a lot of people that are represented re, in representative form they mm-hmm. are not really who they are no i agree you know what i'm but saying so I, I, I don't, I, but i feel you because like i'm not gonna like you're mm-hmm. what you're saying that's how i view dating apps and i still do i don't even know why i'm still on there but like it, oh, I there's, feel nothing, like, wrong no, there's nothing wrong there's, there's nothing wrong no, with dating but apps. it does reaffirm what i feel that it does take away that capacity of like really like organically know like getting to meet someone meeting that natural connection like physically mm-hmm. like i'm not gonna lie through the internet app stuff it's just too techie for me like mm-hmm. it's too many like errors that you can just that's what i said i'm not bypass, gonna lie. and that's scary <laughs> to nigga me. Pull, he gotta come pull up on me on person that's, that's how i feel Real 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 it. like that's Real your only opportunity there At ain't no point. sliding ain't no bro you don't have to see me in person. You're where does he have to pull up on you in person wherever you see me event at, so yeah, if it's like, at the grocery store that's cool you're cool that's with that. yeah oh yeah honestly like so if it's somewhere where you just really not in your in your best yeah, self like that's when I like him I sometimes honestly, I, I don't mind oh, yeah. it the only place I think I might be like eh is the gym oh I don't really? like that I hate when people I, talk to me I, at the gym. I like when people talk to me at the gym I hate it because it, it depends on their approach no, yeah. I, well yeah, for I me yeah but most of the time for guys it's always kind of like creepy honestly yeah. for me that's, <laughs> that's, it's, that's why yeah. I just I prefer not like mm-hmm. yeah I like it especially if they come correct it's like oh my gosh we're getting no. fit you see I the, think it's you not see, getting you fit see the, you see the flex because yeah. I see the material I, but that's Coming normally through. what it is. Like you just yeah. looking at my body, and you yeah. don't even know nothing about me. So like, yeah, yeah, I just feel sec- I, just, yeah. I just don't like it. I feel Wait sexualized. until you see it in a thong. I'm screaming. <laughs> no, because I used to be against like giving on about a gas station because I feel like that's just so cliche. But there was one time some guy, this guy, he was like so nice. He was like da da da, just talking about some random shit, or whatever. And so I was okay. And afterwards, he was like, oh here, he handed me a card, and he walked off, and I was like, what's this card? I looked, and it was his number. I was like, okay, I liked how you were just like oh, here. You can text if you want. Not, I mean, I didn't text him, but it was still like a good like. Why mm-hmm. didn't you text them? Because I forgot. The thing is, you throw that card. In your purse. I never looked at yeah, this. I, I remember it today. <laughs> she said that. Yeah, this card just crazy because yeah, I ain't never gonna hit you up. <laughs> she said that. I'm your business <laughs> card. <laughs> No. I might. My friend I actually might. like. No, I just. I'm sorry. When people, when a guy gives me their number, I'm not going to text you. You better get my number. I'm sorry. Like I just, it's just not. Gonna Why happen. though? Yeah, but I feel like in this know, day and age, a lot of guys are more comfortable up. giving their they, number yeah. because women, especially like in a, like a place where it's like you don't know if that girl actually wants someone to approach them. So, yeah. so as a man, I think it's like I'm gonna put it on you. If you want to hit me up, it's yeah. cool. I'm not trying to be a creep. Yeah. You know? Well, for yeah. me, it's and like you, like, you oh. already approached me, so it's like. They're just trying. Uh, why am I giving? Why am I getting your number? I don't want to talk to you. You want to talk to me? So that's, that's like. Just get, but like, a lot of people, a lot of men too, are trying to test your confidence as well. Because a lot of men want to don't test me. Don't not just test. Ask you me not, for my actually, number. You know, why are you testing confidence? And if you're, not let me see what you're, no. Give me like, the opportunity to see what you're talking pageant? about. Like I'm not gonna no. hit you up just to do this whole rigmarole of like where you at? Where you, right. No, you're and you walked up to me. Give my number. But if like, that's what no, you came here for. Not test. Yeah, maybe use the wrong word. But like, because on some of these like things little profiles I've seen a lot of men like they'll be like I like like a confident woman like you know woman that's bold so yeah but no I was speaking towards your gas station thing and we can go like my friend was like if she meets a guy at a gas station if he doesn't pay for a gas like that's cr- we're not okay I do okay so I will, say, I, will say, I will say I will say I will say yeah if a guy approaches me at the gas station you should only be there for one thing. And it's, it is, you gonna take care of my gas or pump it for me? Because why are we here, bro? That's how I... I, I, I thought she was wild for that, but that no, I feel you. Okay. why are you here? No, that, that is wild. Even if you don't pay for it, pay for it. Pump it for me. Wait, who are we talking about? I kind of do feel... If a guy approaches you to the gas station... That's what I'm saying. Even if you're not paying, paying for it, pump gas. it for me. Like yeah, I'm very team. We complicate dating. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I we take we complicate dating. We make it way more complicated than it is. Yeah, like if I pull up with you, you know what you about to do. There's so many rules and regulations. Like if I was a nigga... I probably would just be like, fuck it. 
You know what? No, but Tana, 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 I'm not going to lie. If you're pulling up with the woman, you need to be getting out of that car and taking care of the gas. I, I don't Wait, know. pulling up in the same car? No, no, I'm talking about a nigga No, we're talking about a nigga who approaches Just approaches you at the gas station. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, no matter what, at the gas, yeah. But I still feel like, again, it's just courteous as a woman. It's the same thing as like, you see a woman taking out the trash, help her. Grab it. Like, I think I think gas station and trash for me is like the same thing. Like, I just feel like women, not that they shouldn't be doing it, but at the same time, it's like. We shouldn't. Yellow, you, you know right. what I mean? Like, like I gotta stand pumping it, but I, I would yeah. not put the expectation. But yeah, but she said paying. I was just like, oh, that's od. But I mean, it'd that's be nice. Her, that's her preference. It'd be nice to be so paid cool. for it, but it's not a requirement. Yeah, said, they mean, don't it's offer not a pay requirement, it, but I just, nice I just, gesture. yeah, it's, it's nice a nice gesture. gesture especially yeah. again, yeah. She's like, if they don't offer it, we're not. It's just not happening. I'm like, wow. I was like, yeah, okay, get out my face, pumping gas. Like, come on. I know we've been talking about y'all are saying that dating is complicated, and I feel like all these relationships lately have been like going to shit. Quite frankly, oh so let's back. talk about America's black sweetheart, mm-hmm. Kiki. Oh, I thought you were going to oh, say Nelly and Ashanti. I thought you were going, going Lori. <laughs> Not you okay. think Nelly and Ashanti sweetheart. I, I love them. I love them together. They are 50. I love them. <laughs> oh my, wait, are you an age? <laughs> No, you got to be a little bit younger to be a sweetheart. Come no, on, that's right. not that's true. sweetheart. No, no. They were together in their like late twenties wow. and now since the two thousand. Right, please, y'all. Yay. No, I don't, I don't agree. That is sweetheart. No, yeah. They are grown. So who? They are grown. Sweetheart, sweetheart is normally for like young, young. No. younger people. Yes. I, I, sweetheart I is I don't, young. Do you know what high school what sweethearts What adult are? sweetheart do you high know? School. No, no. I mean, sweetheart. I think it's like a term of endearment. I don't think it's. But that's what I'm saying. If you look at the pattern of who's been termed coined the term sweetheart, they're young. Let's pause real quick. When you meet a man married couple and when they describe their marriage and they refer to themselves as high school sweethearts that means they met no. like way back okay. in the day I don't yeah. think they were still, young yeah. I think when whenever they were young, I say they were young when they met Ashanti y'all I think whenever <laughs> but I think even if you just look at Ashanti and Kiki I don't think if you say like America's sweetheart I don't think people are I don't for refer Ashanti. to Kiki Palmer They're and not. that man as a but sweetheart couple y'all take it for Darius cause I was never, never now let's, no. get it, let's get into it Kiki, I don't mean like yes Kiki. I'm saying like okay so with Kiki so recently um, it came out well it first came out that Kiki filed for um, sole custody of uh, her son that she had with Darius what's his name Jack? Leotis Leo. Leo. oh the baby of uh, the Jarius Jack, uh, Jackson, Jackson right yeah so um, with Darius Jackson, which at one point, from our understanding, they were um, still a couple, what I thought, at least, up until she We fought. weren't sure. She didn't confirm it she after didn't. the whole Usher situation. Mm-hmm. Yes. And then we also know that recently, like, well, within like the last six months, um, Kiki was seen at the Usher concert in Vegas at his residency. And like she had a dress on and Usher came up to her and was doing his like p- natural performance. And her partner at the time, Darius, he came out and spoke about oh well you know your mom as, as a mother you shouldn't be coming out dressed like that and you know the world did not take very kindly to that because who are you so then hmm. shortly after uh news came out that she filed for sole custody of their child it came out that she put a restraining order she filed for a restraining order against darius um claiming abuse in the past so how are y'all feeling? Because I, you know, people really don't be playing about Kiki. Like I don't yeah. know where it came from, but people just like do not. We watched her grow up. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. sweetheart. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Exactly, oh, exactly God. that. Tana. And we watched <laughs> Nelly and Ashanti <laughs> grow up too. Stop saying Nelly and Ashanti. We were sweetheart. We are grown as fuck. We did. But it's okay. Yeah, we here. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, we're here. We're here. I will say because a lot of people did come out and because some some still shots of security videos were released about some of the quote unquote abuse. And some people noticed that the videos were like dated from 2022, like before she had the child, and they were trying to excuse it, like, "Well, she just had to stay." Da da da. I'm like, abuse. What was the what was the screenshots that came out? She, it, really it was of him like grabbing her like inside their home, like throwing her over the couch, throwing her yeah, over she, the couch. What it like looks, steal photos? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like mm-hmm. screenshots of the video. I guess they couldn't release the video, but they were able to like take a screenshot of it. Wow. So um, Mm-mm. and they were excusing it because they were like, "It's from 2022. We don't know if she was laughing, this or that." I'm not gonna lie, regardless. He been gave me a piece of advice because I just don't know any man who's going to respond. Right. About, you know what I mean? I'm like, you're the this is Kiki Palmer, child. right? And you're taking it to Twitter. You know the type of backlash that she could possibly get by you mm-hmm. saying this. Yeah, and you're okay. That moment, I was like, Kiki, I don't know about this man for you. Like, he's very okay with you being embarrassed. Yeah, yeah. but the truth is, he went from 
breaking her down in the house mm-hmm. to breaking her down in public. In public. You know, yeah. honestly, and that, that was crazy. him saying like, oh, you're a mom. And you know, there were a lot of people who were like excusing him saying it like, oh, you know. She's he, a mom. She's supposed yeah. to be covered up. And he's acting like, like a husband. You know, a husband doesn't yeah. want da, 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 da. That was awesome. And I'm like, me. people yeah. need to realize yeah. that that's not a husband. That was him being possessive. No, that, that's not her that's husband. That's not her husband. Yeah. Like, like, they're not married. Yeah, it's just like there. But if yeah. you even if you're married, your husband yeah. shouldn't say stuff like no, that. Yeah, true. Because Jay-Z would never. Ever. Ever. He would not. And Beyonce being a leotard five nights Thank a week you. okay Thank you. <laughs> twirling it Lifting Loki having sex anything. in the air I'm crying at Leah and he don't to say sleep. not a for damn real. word because why would he do that yeah I just think it's 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 extremely unfortunate yeah. for all the parties involved because mm-hmm. you know like even with Kiki like we've seen again her grow up and you know she's for the most part she stayed away from drama you know yeah. and so for this to be her first situation and you know like Kiki has been very public about like, you know, not even her dating history, but like who she dates, but like how she dates. Like she's been very talk, talking about like how it was difficult for her and even like, you know, deciding to get pregnant. Like I know it was like a big decision for her. So it's just like for it to even like pan out this way is just unfortunate because it's like, damn, bro. Like, mm-hmm. again, we've we, 20 years you've been in this industry. Like there's mm-hmm. been no situations. And now the first time we hear about situations. I mean, she has had situations like with Trey Songz Trey and Songz. stuff. But like that. she was saying that he was abusive. It yeah. wasn't like, a, you know, that wasn't like a huge and scandal. But nobody, and nobody believed her. her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know so, why y'all did it because so many people have come. Yeah, that's, 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 that's what set the precedence huh? for people that's to before, even, oh. I think, get on, like, you know, start becoming more prone towards Kiki and actually like start loving her. So I just feel like, I, well, for one, I'm glad that she does have the love that, like, from the public opinion kind of poured into her because she now sees that, like, America does not play by her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, it's just unfortunate because even if we're talking about, if we break down abuse here, because some people are like, uh, it doesn't have to be physical. Or, you know, was he physical? Did he hit her? It doesn't matter. Mental her. abuse. If she yeah. decided to file the restraining order because she was mentally abused, emotionally yeah. abused, any kind of situation, she abuse. was 100% rightfully mm-hmm. right. in her rights to do right. that. Because listen, people don't understand, like, the things that men say and the things that men do can very much so have an effect just as much as physical abuse. Mm-hmm. And so that's why I'm just like, I just, I really, really am praying for, like, her, her her mom, her, you know, her baby. Like, it's just, it's such an unfortunate situation. Yeah. Like, it's, I don't know, it's it sucks. Because, mm-hmm. you like, especially when a kid's involved, you yeah. have to, like, protect your kid at all costs, their environments mm-hmm. and everything. They're processing it, too. Yeah. They may not be able to yeah. speak, but they're seeing mm-hmm. that stuff. So, I mean, it but there was additional is. info that came out that like they tussled over the baby once. Oh before. yeah, he was trying to take the baby from yeah, her. Yeah, and was like, like pull, and then he said, "I see why um, fathers in the wild eat their children." Yeah. Oh, she said that. I think I thought it was him that said it. Oh, I thought why it was her because it said that? the baby was crying and he couldn't get the baby to stop crying. Mm-hmm. And then he said, "Like I see why fathers in the wild eat their children. Like niggas be weird. Be wild for that. Be weird, they be though. weird. They be weird. They be there abusive. Needs to be new Instagram niggas be weird and just posting weird mm-hmm. things. Men, yeah. Say. But I, I, I do want. With that being said, I do want like us as women to just be more keen to like certain mm-hmm. signs like that. Because again, yeah. oh, when yeah. he said that, what he said about her outfit to me was just like the problem was okay. Even if you did have a problem with her outfit, is the fact that you said it publicly yeah, to somebody yeah. who's your girlfriend. Definitely. To me, it's just like again, why do you want everybody to chime in on what I have on as a mom? And then you're involved. Me as a, what does me and his mother yeah, have to do like, with this concert? Yeah. Nothing at that, all. Like a, a man that really cares about you will always like protect your yeah. name, how people see you. Like that is golden Period. for them. So for him to go out there and just sit there and like defame her like that and just try to like make Loki try to make her a joke publicly to me was just odd. It so. was very odd. So I'm just like I wish that, again as women we should pick up on like or just I wish that we can be able to pick up on signs of like you know control and manipulation mm-hmm. early on to kind of avoid certain situations. And obviously mm-hmm. like you know there's certain things that you cannot do to avoid stuff like that but like you know while you can just think mm-hmm. that like okay yeah no he it's not he cares about you bro he's being controlling yeah. like mm-hmm. let's Seriously. Yeah, like you're low key mm-hmm. thinks he owns you. Yeah, no. that's why I tell people all the time that you got to be really careful about what you like look for in a man. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. there's certain things like I've heard women say, like, oh, you know, I want him to be obsessed about me. Yeah, it, First oh, of all, I've said no, that before too. I, I don't, don't want that. I don't want. I don't that. want I don't anybody want obsessed with me. I don't like because you say that and you end up what's that, like the movie Obsession. Like, yeah, no, literally, no, no. like mm-hmm. as be, being someone who couldn't get a nigga to leave her alone, girl, saying and he's that at my job sending pictures of my car in the parking lot, girl. or I. I'm calling the police and he's staying just far enough away for a restraining order. Mm-hmm. Like, bro, like that is, it's dangerous. No, it's very mm-hmm. I don't want anybody to be obsessed yeah, with me. No. I want for anybody that I'm with to be okay with, if I decide Anything one day I want to leave your life, you allow me to, you allow me to leave yeah. and you allow me to leave in peace. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cause these days people, <sighs> yeah. Cause mm-hmm. the whole obsessive behavior is very, it's very crazy. scary. Even and it's like, very traumatizing. even like leaving in peace. How do y'all feel about Jeezy? 
in this whole little press run he's doing. Go home. Press run is heavy. Like, you have an album coming out, a book? That's like, what he's talking about. His album dropped. His album dropped. Out. His, his what? His album dropped? He and it went, what, plastic? Album. Exactly. Because no, what you I don't know if it's plastic, girl. <laughs> what are you no, doing? No, people are saying it's not, good. Yeah, people are saying it's really good. I don't know. But you know, Jeezy. Yo, Jeezy's good, though. Yeah, and not only that, Jeezy's not on a label anyway. He doesn't need to. So it's like, come on now. Like, let's not do that. But, like, I don't like. You really use your divorce as publicity for an album? That's wild to me. I think, and I thought it was odd to sitting down with Neil Long. Neil Long, I've never seen you host any kind of platform of like public speaking. Mm-hmm. That was very odd. That's for what me. Somebody was like, "Wait, I'm confused." No, like, I was, I, is that was that her podcast? I was like, what, did she have "I don't even know what now? it was." I don't know. He should have sat down with Connie Chung. I'm screaming. <laughs> that's why, who sat Tana, down with. why? Because that's who you've been with for the last few years. <laughs> wait, you've been on that side. <laughs> wait, or like or so Sherry Shepard. Don't nobody like. Don't, 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 don't loop in black that. women now. <laughs> do not lip, do not oh, loop in low black key. women now. Yeah, that's who America's sweetheart really is. Nia Long, girl. People do love Nia Long. Facts. Like, do not do not loop in black women now. We weren't a part of the equation before. (laughs) I'm screaming. No, I agree. I do think it's kind of weird that like, okay, whenever you were in like this um, fairy tale marriage and like relationship, Mm -hmm. what were like, you weren't worried about black women, but the time now that you need a press run, the time that you need publicity, now you want to involve African-American woman. And I just find it weird. I'm like, very weird. Jeezy, like, mm. actually, what you should have done just sat down with your wa- your estranged wife, and y'all should have just talked and it look, out. He Nia and too. They, he said they tried though, but then Nia too. He said they went to therapy, but I don't, I don't like her. He I, didn't, like her. I didn't understand. <laughs> I'm not going. And then Nia too. Like, I didn't understand Nia sitting down with him. I didn't understand like, as a woman. Like, what? What can? What are you sitting down with him and talking about? Like, what can Jeezy tell you to make the situation between Jenny May make sense? I did like the interview though. But I'm just saying though, like I. you know, I, did, just, I think the interview was good. The interview yeah, was, was cool, was, but was I'm just saying, interview. what was the point of it? Like, and to me, know, I feel like Jeezy's trying to win our favor back. Like he's just like, or trying to make it make sense, like why he did what he did. And to me, it's like Jeezy, like that's on you. You know what's so crazy? And nobody else. You know, I actually really, you know how some people are like, they prefer whenever celebrities are more silent because then you like you kind of like them a little bit more and that's how I feel about Jeezy like I kind of like whenever Jeezy was like more of like a mysterious like yeah, persona you all did you didn't really know what was going on in his life and now it's like oh Jeezy like, like Michelle said it's like kind of cringy that you are taking this publicity behind like this like major divorce or major separation and that's what you're using to to publicize your book in your album like it's weird like you're capitalizing not only on your estranged wife's feelings but on your child's back you know like mm. I, and that girl is so cute oh my god she is really cute she doesn't so deserve cute. this i know <laughs> nobody deserves this. okay but I, okay so okay speaking of like couples breaking up y'all i do want to know how y'all feel Ugh. about Lori harvey this is really y'all, thank you the girl sweetheart. give him back to us we've no, been waiting thank you thank you thank you, thank you the damn been waiting but do we but no, want him back i do we need him i'm tired look 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 need him mm. for what? okay but let me let me just let me just say okay what's up to him and jesus so at this no that's actually disrespectful larry you please he was the victim here um (laughs) wow (laughs) no okay so lori has been dating damson for the past maybe a year and a half maybe two years who knows for a year. Who really knows? A year. Per, um, and per it's been said that they, and one thing I will give her, up. she be in long term relationships. It's never short. Was it long because it's it was a contract? A That's a why it's so long. It's always, a year. A, it's always right at a year. Yeah. A year is like, not a long time. Because I remember they announced life. it like right, right around <laughs> her. Um, sorry guys, that shouldn't happen. Um, they announced it right around what? So you don't know? Oh, sorry. No, they announced like right before her birthday. Remember she? Uh, he was at her birthday. And oh it was like, yeah. That's when it really yeah. I thought it was before the last season of uh, Snowfall. It was. No, oh, I thought it was right when the last. It was. Season a, it was, was pr- premiering. It was, a, yeah. no, it was yeah. about to come out like, like together yeah. within a month or two. Yeah. They had it announced definitely it. Was you know, Damson was uh, definitely trying to secure that next contract for his next show. And the thing about Lori is, I love a calculated bitch because the way she always like she dumped. Uh, what's it called? I don't Michael know who dumped her. But that ended and she dropped her skin line <laughs> and she had the little thing going on and now she's announcing her breakup and she has the PLT Creative edit. Collab, like yeah. she knows what she's doing. Like yeah. the contracts don't just be in favor of the man. Like low key, she levels up every single time. Yeah. I just want to see if she's going to date next. No, th- that's what I'm it like, is. Who, okay, so who's next? But here's my thing too because go, it's like go, at go, what go, point go to I, I'm not mad at Lori for dating because at the end of the day you, mm-hmm. lo- you young, you fine, whatever, mm-hmm. great, do it all. Honestly, I wish I could date and be getting money for it like, yeah uh, but this would make, make dating date so much caliber fun. at mm-hmm. one point are we gonna we're getting there i think that 
Lori Harvey doesn't get as much like backlash as like other people who like you know consistently date or whatever. Maybe she does. Actually, she probably does. She does. Let me not say she that. gets a little bit of backlash. She does, but people but people you know accept it because she's pretty she's a pretty girl yeah. she's like typically what everybody wants to be typically mm-hmm. what society standards yeah. wants to be so again but Lori Harvey has dated everybody's favorite celebrity crush like and it's like where do we draw the line here like what do we actually be like okay Lori what's going on what's, like, the, what's, the, what's wrong between with her doing? and Taylor Swift and yeah. why didn't we draw the line when she was dating Diddy and his son yeah I, yeah I mean, I feel like that was when we should have drew the line. Yeah. I, think we, I think the thing about Which is still Lori is... She's, that's, that's one thing she said that... We don't hear Lori Harvey speak, but she spoke yeah. on that. Yeah. She said that was Do y'all truth. really think um, <laughs> she's so Travis likes Taylor? Yes. No. Yeah. No. No, I, I do. 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 If y'all didn't see through Lori and Damson, I need y'all to at least see through Travis and Kelsey, Travis and Taylor. I need y'all to at least see the PR nightmare. Yeah, I, I don't see PR it at all. I, I don't think he does. I don't because think Taylor it's... popping up and just being in his show next to his mom... Yeah, thank you. Y'all aren't trying to keep it low key. This is a PR relationship. I think it'd be a little bit of both. Yeah, like I think like it, it's a you know the chemistry because that haircut. Oh my gosh, <clears throat> it said I like Taylor and, and that mustache, <laughs> girl. Girl, you know, he's a new that man, sheriff girl. mustache. That literally looks like a like sheriff. He, he, he looks like he, a cop. He, he, he broke up with his last jail. woman. His, that's <laughs> a new queen. Like, license and registration, please. <laughs> yeah, he broke up with his new queen. Now he look like a. You know, he looked like him. Yeah. Oh, this is you know, sorry, he looked like him. But like, then I don't know, he's still becoming <laughs> his right, wacky right now. here. Y'all know Taylor Swift was um she dated some guy who was I don't know the, his name. I knew his name I would say, but he was deeply problematic and he was had been saying like really um he had like racist things surfaced or whatever. So a lot of people tried to cancel her uh-huh. her for dating him. I think this is her attempt to get back in like she can't date no black man, but it's the closest she can get to try and, you know, Yikes. fix her Rep. image yeah. in the black community. I really think it's her attempt because she's trying to make us forget that she dated that man who was so problematic. She stood by him. Mm. So I don't believe this relationship. I don't either. Because you hid your last nigga. Why are you popping out with him? No oh, facts. Bye. But again, back to Lori. I, mm, somebody somebody better comment talk about, damn, Lori's, I would hate to be Lori's friend because I can't date none of her exes. Like, <laughs> shit. <laughs> No, no she has a she has a songs future. She, you Justin Diddy, I don't care what like, you say, Lori. Like, Diddy's on the list. These are heavy hitters, <laughs> yeah. and it's so crazy. These it's are like heavy hitters. she Damn was with MPJ? Diddy, but like my thing is, hey, like, come but my on, thing yeah. is, she really let Diddy go. Lewis Hamilton forgot about That's him. Like, I feel Memphis, why she. I feel why but, she let like, Diddy go. But Diddy's, like, a, Diddy's a lot. Yeah. I think so too. Yeah, so why do y'all? Lori, okay. why Lori y'all definitely gives young Miami sting. Lori, I don't think okay. she Lori definitely gives like if you're with me, you're with me. Because even Future settled down. Like you know Did what I'm he? saying? Yes, Future like he chilled out. He chilled out. Future chilled out. It wasn't y'all just yeah, yeah chilled okay. out to the public. Eye. Yeah, I'm like where is he in chilling? His I, don't, I wouldn't give him that. But I feel like to the public eye. Yeah, like and we're like, only saying it because they took pictures together on vacation. Let's be very, very like. I mean, it was the most he had done since. But he's also been. True, but he's also but he was the doing the same thing with Dez. Yeah, he's done the same, same thing, thing with Joel. He's just not in the same room that he was doing with Sierra. Sorry, don't shave, don't shave, not the VMs. Don't shave, don't shave. The VMs never get the never get the credit. If you in India, he really ain't fucking with it. Girl, that part. How do y'all feel about Summer Walker back with Meech? Uh uh, sorry, Summer. It really has been a black season. It's been a black season. Summer because no, because Summer has been like she's such a pick me, bro. Like Summer, like will say publicly about how she is, what she's not, what she can't do, and like even her shading Jada in that whole like, oh, I can't be Jada, I can't do the cheating. And for you to even publicly bring somebody else has nothing to do with this into the situation, just to kind of down and be like, oh, you got cheated on, bitch, I can't do. It's like you you, you better than me. That's what's giving you better. You better than me. And so I I just feel like for her to publicly say that and then be back with this man that I just that was was seen on a ring camera, camera getting groceries with his alleged cousin can we please be so fucking I just was like girl Summer, Summer you like, did a lot of stuff like in a club in a handstand with your legs spread open and got back with him yeah, no you have to do those things and whole, get with someone else like you. what like get with like, somebody else and on top of that I'm just like like a bigger bag girl thank you he's not oh big my. meat she's little meat I don't know if we want to talk about this <laughs> but I do want to like hear y'all's opinions um the no for sure podcast split mm-hmm. yeah, we, everyone know. saw it coming yeah. To move things over, shout out to everyone that got nominated for Grammys. Victoria Monet, Yo. number seven. Shout out to DeVito. Nicki it's about Minaj time. Got Nicki Minaj got nominated for twice. her first Grammy. Actually, I want to talk about Is that. Is it her Is first that, Grammy? I, 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 I said it earlier. That. I thought it was Nikki's first. No. Yeah. She's I been nominated for a Grammy been nom- She's never won. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know she's been nominated before. But <laughs> they'll be taking at least one of them home. But she, well, she's only oh, how many because of Ice Spice. And that's okay. So here's my thing. Let me just let me talk about projections here. 
Please, let's not disrespect. Them. No, I'm no, about to, I'm about to touch like, on that, but that's true, though. True. But that's it's actually true. Ice Spice. No, it is. I'm not saying talent wise. No, I'm not saying not, talent, but, it but is. it's because of Ice Spice. Ice Spice was nominated for four fucking Grammys in one year. Mind you, she's a, still a new artist. Her first year. Her first year. Mind you, Nicki Minaj has not won a Grammy thus far. So that's why I'm just like, Guys. yeah, she's in nomination because of Guys. the popularity of Ice Spice. No, it's definitely because of Nicki Minaj, but it's also Ice Spice helped with that. So again, Can and I also feel like, y'all really think Ice Spice's Grammy. But I Nominated also feel like Ice Spice. It really think. You yeah, know the crazy I part is, I feel like Ice Spice kind of brought back Nikki's likeness. Because to be honest with you, at one point, like people were not we're on not Nikki's, fuck were not on Nikki's train. And I do feel like within like the last like year, year and a half, people are now like more Nikki stands. I don't feel like it was because of Ice Spice, but I do feel like that song kind of. I don't know what that song because it was so it's popular Barbie. with Barbie. You know that's mm-hmm. what did it for her. But I'm not gonna lie. If okay, if Nikki wins. I feel like I would have, if I was Nikki, I would have a hard time accepting this. Just because, you gotta think about this. I've been in this industry for over 20 years. I've surpassed mm-hmm. all of these. I built this bridge for laps. every girl to walk. And now y'all are just now recognizing it, me because I'm on a popular movie. Because I wrote the soundtrack for a popular movie. Y'all have not recognized my talents for the last 20 years. Not only that, y'all have neglected what I've put into this industry. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not gonna lie, fuck y'all. Like, I, 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 I don't and, think she should and, accept and, it. And it's so I crazy. Like, I wouldn't even be shocked she doesn't show up to the Grammy. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even acknowledge y'all because to not. me, like, Oh my gosh! Like it's, it's, like, it's, it's a slap so, in the face. Yeah, it's such a slap in the yeah. face. Nicki Minaj Nikki. to me is such a talented artist. So like it talented. is actually crazy. In 2023, we're saying she doesn't have a Grammy. So like I don't yeah. think I'm, I agree with Crystal. I wouldn't be shocked if she says Bruh, I don't want. Her I award, would not know? if I was her. I'm so sorry because like, again, okay. like the the endless talent. When I say that lady has built that bridge for every female artist, mm-hmm. every female rapper artist to walk across, and for now she's just now getting accolades or she's just now getting recognized for what she's done. No, I'm mm-hmm. sorry. But I also like, think the like music industry as a whole is just now getting comfortable with like a certain aesthetic of a black woman. Oh, yes. the, with the Grammy, I feel like they were just throwing in black people. Let's be yeah. honest for all them nominations. No, because yeah. why, even, Tyler, why was Tyler nominated? Tyler no, Water that, but, is nominated for Summer Grammy. Walker got nominated for her last EP. Mind you, on that EP, the the clear, still the soft life clear. Uh-huh. Nobody listened to that, y'all. Let's yeah. be, no. over and still over. It's did decent. numbers. She would have got, got a Grammy. Crystal saying it didn't do as much. Grammy for she should have got a Grammy for over it or still or, or still, still over, over it. it one of the two but because she he, talked on half of clear she's talking on like four it's literally a talking track like, that's like the a, one with a t-shirt EP. no, no, no. That, was that was the, the second um, it's uh the second one oh. yeah you wouldn't even know because soft life a it's like a lot of people did not listen because she's talking the, on the, a lot of the yeah. tracks. mantra the mantra chant yes, on it, yes, yes. My, my last thing on this topic and i'll say this i'm sorry like burner boy's recent album being on the list for grammys is honestly absurd i well that's what i was to say too new Crystal, it just came it out just at came the out. Be- yeah, at end of beginning of September. At the end of August, beginning that of September. That might be but why that they dropped it when they did. Yeah. I think the submission time ends in like October. I think it is. I don't think that's a Grammy not a Grammy or not a Grammy album yet. I, but again, I, I feel don't like, understand. listen, the people at the Grammy, they were just sprinkling black folks in it to make, mm-hmm. to make the community happy. They were just I like, Twyla Twyla I Spice Water. 4, Tyla here, SZA why said, is like, Tyla and everybody, some of those people deserve it. No, don't get me wrong. But again, it was just like, I, no, it was but, a clear I want to make the black culture happy let yeah. me just throw these but Tyler on being on there I'm not gonna lie y'all that was crazy yeah. we just now started doing that yeah. on TikTok <laughs> don't play Sorry. with it don't yeah. play with it yeah don't play with it Okay, y'all, we're going to go ahead and head into the topic. You know, Thanksgiving's coming up, and in the spirit of Thanksgiving, we're going to talk about friends. Aww, yes. And just navigating it. adult friendships, because as you get older, like, some of us have some long-standing friendships, but mm-hmm. there are also um, friends that, you know, we become distanced from, and other friends that we become closer to. And as you get older, you navigate friendships a lot differently, which is so crazy, because even my makeup artist today was telling me about how... Um, she recently had to go, she grew distance from a friend because she realized that her friend wasn't like, it wasn't an intentional friend. Mm. Like she realized she didn't have her best, uh, best interest at heart. And so in having that conversation, we realized that, dang, our parents were right about a lot of stuff. Growing oh up. my God. Like, you know, you're younger, your friends would be like, I mean, your parents would be like, oh, that's not your friend. Mm-hmm. And you're like, how do you know that? Like you don't have that discernment yeah. when you're younger. And when you get older, you realize there'd be some friends that you've had for so long. It's like that discernment finally clicks when that frontal lobe forms you're like you know what I've realized that you're probably a good time friend and all that but I can't even have you as a good time friend because like your intentions for me are not good and I cannot right. have you friends with somebody who's not like have who doesn't have good intentions for me right mm-hmm. so I want to ask y'all like as y'all have like grown older like how how has your views on friendship changed um I kind of touched on this on um <clears throat> the last episode when I just mentioned like I'm just kind of in a season where it's like you know, I appreciate the friends that I have here. 
but I, I do I can recognize like who is here for like life and then who's kind of not you know like mm-hmm. I think that um, like I said like again some people are just here for seasons and it's okay so I, I at first I used to like when I used to lose friends I would take it real tough like I, it would be real hard on me but now I'm just kind of like you know what like it don't gotta be beef we're not beefing but like we just not the same as we was and right. that's okay like it's okay so I think that I'm definitely stepping into like you know, just the habit of like, you know, people kind of dropping off, not that not it being beef or not it being an issue, just people kind of dropping off because that's just how life takes its course. So mm-hmm. I don't know. I know for me, um, I was telling, and you know, I think that whenever I'm dating someone new, low key, they kind of get a little intimidated with like the type of bonds that I have with my friends because mm-hmm. like my friendship bonds are like are really, yeah. really strong. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, like at the end of the day, like, I like truly love my friends. No, yeah, like, yeah. Anyone that's in my life currently, like we might get into it. We yeah. might, we might butt heads sometimes, but like when I tell you, like I would ride for anyone that like mm-hmm. can text my phone. Right. I'm gonna ride for you. Yeah. So I yeah. don't know. Like, but then at the same time, like I, like Crystal said, I'm actually a, a little bit more comfortable with letting go of certain people. And, like, cause yeah. like I truly realize like, who is like my friend and who mm-hmm. isn't like, yeah. In the, and I have grown a lot more discernment in that area. Cause I thought everyone used to be my friend. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, and you know, it's, oh, sorry. sorry. It's funny that you say that because I didn't realize like how much, like I know like my friends are obviously like, you know, my friends, like my riders until you like, you start dating and just like, he's like, Oh, let's do this. Let's do this. I'm like, Oh, I'm going here with my friends. <laughs> like, I'm like, even the fair, I'm like, damn, like I already have, I'm going to the, the fair with my Girl. friends sorry guys. like I, you know what i mean it's just like damn like or even time. whenever they're like asking yeah. like i've had a guy like he'll be like okay um let's go on this trip i'm like oh i already went there with, I my, already friends. Went there with my friends yes. <laughs> like, i've already been there with my right. friend right dog that'd be the one i mean i look at friendship now like family mm-hmm. like Ooh, yeah i don't really like don't get me wrong like i used to be like friend my friend now it's like i really i'm it's if it's not like the people on this table and then some other people they know who they are like I don't really call you my friend, like, unless, like, you know, like, you've made an impact in my life that, like, you know, and we're here, we're locked in. But, like, I'm really careful with the term friend because I've had, like, some experiences with friendship and it has you, like, honing in on what it, what are your, what are your criterias for friendship? And are, like, the people around you meeting that? And if they're not, you kind of need to distance yourself from them. So I look at fam- uh, friends as family mm-hmm. and, like, honestly, I've, as I've gotten older, I have, it's so crazy to say this, but I have lost, like, quite a few friendships like mm. I'm so comfortable to say that and was I ever upset about it maybe like for like a day or two but then I realized you know what like that's just God looking out for me and like it's okay like I I can't beat myself can't come to kill myself because of friendships mm-hmm. like at the end of the day if that was when we were supposed to sever our tie then we gotta let it you know we gotta go our separate mm-hmm. ways like I'm not gonna question God anymore so yeah. there's it's, a reason why we don't, we don't need to be in each other's life and where though. I'm going so right. but you know it's so yeah. crazy that's why I'm actually happy that we have Tana on the podcast because To be quite honest with you, like growing up, I used to like Tana and my mom are very similar whenever it comes to like the ideal of like friendships. Mm -hmm. Um, And I used to think that like my sister was like harsh. I'd be like, dang, like it's so easy for you to like be like, I don't like if if you do me wrong, like I'm really not fucking with you. Like that's Mm -hmm. it. Like there's really no like second, third chances. That sounds like that sounds like. Tana. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it does. So it, and, does, it, it does. And yeah. so now, like, being older, I'm, like, trying to, crazy enough, I'm, like, I'm trying to, like, adopt more of, mm-hmm. like, your views whenever mm-hmm. it comes to friendships. Because, like, I was so used to giving people, like, so many second chances. Mm-hmm. And it's, like, no, yeah. like, that was actually, like, some shifty ass shit. Like, yeah. why am I actually giving you another chance to be my friend? Right. Yeah. I'm a firm believer that there's just certain things that your friends don't do to you. Period. Like, Period. and she's and always telling, yeah, she, yeah, she's always preaching that like there's no, a certain lines that friends cannot be crossing. Yeah, yeah. And it's and like you don't do that. that. You can't come back from. You can't mm-hmm. come back from it. Friend. And like, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's been a very long time since I lost a friend. Yeah, yeah. been it's been a minute. It's probably been ten years. Mm, um, and all my friends that I have, like we've known each other, like you know, like Brittany, who I do a podcast with, like I've known Brittany since we were like 15, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and we're 35. Mm-hmm. So like me and Brittany are like sisters, you know, yeah. like and all my friends, like you said about family, like all my mm-hmm. friends are really ingrained in my family, like yeah, like Nikki has like a lot of my friends' phone number, you know, like they come to the holidays, you know, just simple stuff. But um, friendships really, they're really important to me because. It is your family outside of your family. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
And it has to be someone that I trust with like certain information mm-hmm. or it has to be somebody that I can actually come to. And right. if I'm having an issue, I feel comfortable enough to talk to you about these things, Absolutely. you know? And so that's why I put so much emphasis on friends and also so much emphasis on you you can't do me wrong. Yeah. Like, yeah. don't get me wrong. Like I've had like my instances with Brittany, you know, like we've like disagreed about certain things and mm-hmm. whatnot. But it's one thing about us, like it's never come down. We've never fought. Yeah. Like I'm talking about physical. There are people who fight their See, friends. That's yeah. I can't do that. You can't come back from yeah, that. Yeah, like it can't God forbid, but if Britney fought me, <laughs> first of all, I'm gonna lay her out. But second of all <laughs> Second of all, I will never speak to her again. Yeah, yeah. Ever, ever. Ever. You know, like you can't go and put my business on the internet. I don't give a damn how mad you are at me. Like there's just certain things you just don't do to friends, you know? So that's just where I stand. Okay. So you mentioned disagreements. How do y'all handle disagreements in relationships? Or, or, or friendships. friendships. Sorry. I feel like it's a little bit more difficult in friendships, mm-hmm. honestly, because I feel like relationships, everybody's expected to have a disagreement. Yeah. Like, we're not going to agree on everything. Right. And then if I have to argue with you about the sky is blue, it's probably going to happen, right? Right. But with your friends, it's kind of like, you just don't want to step on nobody's toes. It's always just yeah. like a hard, like, dang, like, how do we even... So I think disagreements are always just difficult because, like, how do we disagree? And on top of that, like, I think you know your friend, like, in and out so you know like what they're going to be receptive to and what they're not going to be receptive mm-hmm. to and a lot of my hesitation from like even bringing up like you know what what might be an issue is just because like I know they're not going to be receptive to what I'm going to say mm-hmm. so I tend to hold back when it comes to like things that I don't agree with or things that they may do that I like you know it just doesn't really align with me just because like I just know A they're not going to be receptive and B this conversation is probably going to go like it's, it's going to be awkward after this and I don't mm-hmm. like that like I hate like mm-hmm. I also hate confrontation too mm-hmm. so even if it's like okay here you tell your friend like I, I, even when it's like telling them about themselves when it comes to like relationships or like you know boys it's still just like I already know she's not going to leave and she's not you know so it's yeah. just like it's, mm-hmm. it's just it comes really really tricky and so I'm not going to lie I, I too kind of like have a hard time navigating like mm-hmm. okay well i tell i'm gonna tell this person i don't agree with that now i do think it depends on the dynamic because there's friends i could tell like bro that was fucked up and you know it's just not yeah. it's gonna be what it is but there's some people i just it's like i think majority of them it's a couple of friends i could just be like okay yeah this is what it was but there's a couple i'm like yeah let me just sweep right. this under the rug because i'm not gonna <laughs> yeah. say nothing because i just know it's gonna be I an mean, argument i don't want it i don't want it to be this but I it'll come know. up later i mean yeah. stuff like that too just yeah. like I, I like one thing about me as I'm getting older too, like doing like personal inner work, like you want to start creating the environments for people to like to have these comfortable conversations because there has been times like I'll use me and Nikki. There have been time mm. where me and Nikki, we like she's like, you're not seeing my you're not seeing my side. I'm like, I am seeing your side, but I'm your mirror. Like, I, I'm just trying to tell you what it looks like and how it's landing. Like, I am not trying to I'm not your enemy yeah. here. We're just talking. You yeah. know what I mean? And under like. Both parties understand, like, we are not beefing. It's the mm-hmm. issue we're talking yeah. about. And you right. can apply that to relationships, too. Like, we're not arguing. It's the issue at hand that we're focusing on. Yeah. Right. And so just kind of, like, creating those environments of, like, being able to, like, just be in a safe place of talking and mm-hmm. not personalizing. Like, hey, look, this is where a safe place. We're just talking right now. Like, mm-hmm. lay it out on me. You know? And honestly, me personally, like, I don't feel like any of my friends can't like my friends can't come to me and tell me something and like I I may be upset but like I'm gonna be receptive yeah. I'm gonna hear them right. like because I just feel like as my friend like that's your responsibility you your interest, because yeah. honestly like if you're not on point I need to be the one to keep you on point as well mm-hmm. yeah it's not my responsibility but I I should always be looking out for your best interest mm-hmm. so it's yeah. important to dis- like to disagree mm-hmm. respectfully yeah. respectfully yeah. Mm-hmm. Respect- yeah. yeah and I think yeah. that's what gets lost sometimes yeah because I that shit. some friends like. They don't disagree in that now it's like a cussing. I'm like, whoa. Yeah. yeah. And see, that's my thing. Why For it, me, it's know? like we can we can have a conversation about what you disagree with. We can, you can tell me I'm wrong all day long, but I feel like the moment you start raising your voice, the moment you start cursing at me, I check out. Like yeah. it's this like done yeah. here for me. Like we cannot, we can just let's just not continue this conversation right. because yeah. it's like, and cause if you're gonna continue you're going to say something that you're not going to be able to come back from and right, you're going to exactly. raise your voice to an octave where you cannot come back from because I'm like, there's certain, we can, it's, a, it's one thing to raise your voice, there's nothing to yell at somebody. Right. So I'm just like, if you're yelling at me, I feel like it's, you're almost, mm-hmm. the, you're, you're treading the, can't come back from this wall because it's like, why are you talking to me like I'm a dog on the street? Like right, I'm the same exactly. age as you, like we friends, bro. Like, or I don't, even too, I was in a situation where like, I felt like a friend like, didn't have my best interest at heart. Mm-hmm. Like they were comfortable with like a third party like, treating me a certain kind of way and it's like mm-hmm. dang like if if real recognize real you know right from wrong you understand that this situation is wrong mm-hmm. but you're choosing to just like not see it because mm-hmm. of the sake of not wanting to lose another friend but it's like so they you don't value me as a friend because it's like yeah. you're willing to like let anyone dog walk that they didn't do that yeah. but you know what I mean <laughs> yeah. you're willing to let someone try to dog walk me let me rephrase that but instead of like actually be a friend and just be like hey 
let me address this situation and mm-hmm. like you know and move accordingly but mm-hmm. that's it yeah yeah you. i know for me i think <laughs> that whenever it comes to disagreements with my friends they weigh heavier on me sometimes than like disagreements like with my like significant other yeah mm-hmm. because you know what your significant other is like whatever we're gonna we're gonna work it through you know what i'm saying but like <laughs> whenever it comes to your friends you don't ever like want them to feel like dang like I'm not your friend like mm-hmm. or I wasn't I wasn't your friend in that moment you know so for me sometimes it just takes like you have to like take a step back and you'll be like you know what actually I was wrong in that situation and I'm trying to get better at like approaching that person and being like you know what like let's just talk this out that way like there's no awkwardness between y'all like there doesn't I feel like they're like whenever it comes to disagreements there doesn't have to actually be awkwardness like we're the ones who are creating the awkwardness mm-hmm. if we actually just talk this out like and I like we can get out where our points were coming from or we don't even have to see eye to eye but right. like let's just talk about it and let's just move on from it like at the end of the day like we are friends you know right. like I wouldn't ever do anything to like ever make you like purposely feel bad you know Mm -hmm. like and sometimes like people are humans and they have faults you know and they they say things sometimes that they weren't supposed to say or like their points didn't get across Mm -hmm. the way it was supposed to get across but it's like as a friend just like give people that grace yeah i mean but you also it comes down to like really knowing your friends and like and of course if you value someone the more you value them the more you care about understanding them yeah Mm -hmm. so like britney's always like my point of reference because i've known her the longest but like i know britney's triggers like Mm -hmm. britney don't like being like yelled at like Mm -hmm. she doesn't like people to raise their voice at her Mm because once you raise your voice at her that's whenever she completely shuts down that's Mm -hmm. me too so anytime i've had like a disagreement with her immediately I'm like okay you know what I already know how to approach this disagreement because at the end of the day I do care about you we might not be seeing eye to eye right now but at the end of the day I still care about yeah, you I don't, as a yeah, person yeah. you know and like I don't want to like do anything to intentionally hurt you and mm-hmm. I also don't want to do anything that could cause like permanent damage to what you and I have mm-hmm. let's speak towards friends have you ever been around friends that like they're so comfortable with like like talking crazy to each other like yeah. downright dirty to each other mm-hmm. and how do you navigate those situations i think that has a lot to do with like your home dynamics as well mm-hmm. like the thing is is like if you grew up in a home where like the communication wasn't as effective you know quote unquote effective like to the world mm-hmm. standards then you might not know how to actually talk to somebody. And I think as a friend, like I said, like you have to look at people's flaws and all, and you have to either choose, like I'm going to be this person's friends with these flaws, or I'm going to choose not to be their friend at all. So it's one of those things where like, you can talk to this person. You can like tell them like, Hey, like this is not how I communicate, but some people that's just how their friendships work. And it works for them. Like right. I can't judge the dynamics just because it doesn't work for me. It doesn't mean it doesn't work for them yeah yeah i definitely think you should apply it to like you know Mm. how it works like if it doesn't if you know this is not going to work for certain people then not gonna work mm-hmm. right you know, versus like you trying to apply your method of communication to people who don't receive communication no yeah i agree way. but sometimes yeah. it's like sometimes both friends are like that yeah, yeah. like sometimes like mm-hmm. that is just how they communicate you know what yeah. i'm saying like yeah. but it's also a character flaw like mm-hmm. yeah i feel like there's a lot of adults with character flaws and yeah. we use it almost as an excuse it's like oh well that's just how she is no. yeah just because that's how you are i don't mean you need to talk to me exactly. like that right. and you right. but but just because they're they're approach doesn't line up with your approach i wouldn't necessarily say it's a character flaw it's like one of those things where it's like can you fault someone for something they don't know for something they have not been taught you know like i i think that it's just one of those things where it's like if that's how they communicate like it takes time like to change someone's communication style that takes time that takes not, work but someone not, has brought it to your attention by yeah. now because like one of the things that i used to always get feedback from like especially like in relationships and stuff like men would tell me like, Oh, you talk at me instead of to me. Mm. And like, that was something that was said to me multiple times. So if two different men tell me that, like I'm the common denominator here. Right. So it's not like it's my first time hearing that, especially Mm -hmm. at my age by now. So like by now you should know if you have like some issues with your communication. Yeah, I agree. You definitely have to tailor it to, I mean, I tailor it to the friend that you're speaking exactly. to. Especially in new friendships because it can cause, like, some conflict. Because I recently, like, had a dispute with somebody who I consider a new friend. And it was a situation where, like, me, I don't like passive aggressiveness or whatever. Mm. Oh so, my like, gosh. something happened where, a disagreement happened where I didn't really, like, notice when exactly when it happened, mm-hmm. right? So, in the moment, like, I probably did something to, like, irritate that guy or whatever. 
And then afterwards, I could just tell like his energy had just completely shifted, shifted. Mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And mind you, and I even told my cousin, I was like, "Listen, I'm a friendly person, but I'm not a. I mean, I'm a nice person, but I'm not a friendly person. Mm. So like, if you're being mean to me, I could easily be mean back, right? So and it's just, I'm like, I'm sensing like me energy. So afterwards, I was like, "What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Or what's going on? Like your energy shifted. Is everything okay? Is everything okay? And he kept saying, "No, everything's fine. Everything's fine." But they're being super short. And then afterwards, they were like, "Oh, you did this. Did this? What irritated me?" I remember in my head thinking like, "Okay, I don't like that, and I don't know." If we can really be friends because your level of conflict resolution yeah. is like very immature to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cause it's one thing for you to have an issue and not want to talk about it. Then it's like, okay, to be passive aggressive, yeah, to be passive aggressive is right. like too much. And then I remember speaking to someone else about it. They were like, Oh, well that's just how he is. Like we've had several instances like this where he does, he's done it to other people. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, so no one said anything like that's, that. that's not okay. You know? It's and it's just like, just cause y'all are okay with it. Maybe that's why that dynamic is like that. But I can't yeah, have a friend like true. that. Cause in my friendships, right. if we have a disagreement, we're either going to work through it or we're going to get over it. Yeah. Those are the two options. Yeah, I'm not going to sit here and have you punish <laughs> me with your actions right. or punish me with uh-huh. your, like, yeah, you know, yeah. future energy. Like, that's so immature. No, I can't have friends. And you know what's like crazy? That. I used to have a friend like that and that it was so mentally, emotionally yeah, taxing. That because should be this draining. friend used to, like, do that and then try to get everyone else to like have that same energy towards you. Mm-hmm. It was more so like bully behavior. Yeah, where it's so it's a lot easier to just talk about yeah, it just because you know. Oh, and maybe like oh well that wasn't the right time to talk about it. Well then clearly you it should be because you're not able to like remove yourself from the situation and still have a good time. You're the type of person where you have to talk about it right then because it affects you so much that you can't be a normal right. human being. Yeah. Anymore, right, right. You know? Yeah. So, and that says a lot about that person too. They have a lot of character development too. But you even or, talking about that so like you talking about new friends so like now in y'all's adulthood how do y'all choose your friends like how do you choose like who you are going to make a new friendship with Mm. um goals aligning and similar interests i'm i i I don't i can't do extremes anymore i used to be like someone that can be like people like you know that are different extremes for me and i'm like yeah no i can't really do that anymore because i realize like the certain life i want i have to start surrounding myself with like-minded people and so that just doesn't work for me anymore so alignment goals they have to align I mean, I'm to. less likely to like get a new friend. Yeah, but I'll say that. I put friendships in buckets. Yeah. So like, yeah. you know, like Brittany's in her bucket. You know, like Ashley, Ebony, they're up there. But like a lot of other people, I gotta have other people yeah. outside of them. Yeah, they're acquaintances, like, but yeah, they're not friends. or like associates. You know, people that I like used to work with. We connected that on that level, Colleagues. or you know, mm-hmm. but friend, I'm. I'm not going outside right now and being like, oh, hey, girl, you want to hang out? No, especially. And I also feel people use appropriate words for these people. Like there are so many words y'all just heard me name that y'all could use. Like not everyone's your friend. Like friend is a title. And like not everyone has earned that title in your life to just my friend. Like to me, a friend is someone you can call on if you run into something. Mm -hmm. If my car, my tire busts on the side of the road, God forbid that's not going to happen. But I know I can call anyone at this table and they're going to show up and pull up. But there I know there are other people, acquaintances I know if I call, they're going to be like, "Mm." That's not a friend. Right. A friend yeah. will never like think about it. No. All right. Where you at? Exactly. Tell your location. I'm coming. Like. Or if I don't notice that you have like not at my birthday. Yeah. Like that. That shows you. Oh where wait, I'm you're staying. one of those people. Yeah. You I lose mean, friends over birthdays. No, I don't lose friends over birthdays. But like, if you, if I invite you to my birthday and you don't come and I don't miss you, that says something about our relationship. Oh, wow. Oh, that's that's that's. You bar. don't miss them. That's I don't miss, like. I don't like. I don't recognize that you're not here. Yeah. That's a bar. Like. I, that what if it's because you just having such a good time? I mean, I'll be having a good time too, but like, but if I'm having a good con- time, that's like and me like, throwing a dinner still and y'all don't come, I will exactly. miss y'all's Yeah, you're conscious of who's there. I'm like, damn, like, we're so, like, but I, it's, we also you know? invite fillers to birthdays. Yes. Ooh, so you cool. could just be a filler position. Okay, that's true. That's what I was, mm. okay. So, maybe, yeah, so yeah, true. I mean, if I don't really recognize that you're not here, I'm not like missing your presence, it really, that, that's it says a lot. So it's so crazy. Like, for me, I can say, like, in my adulthood, like, in the last, like, two three years i have actually made some really really good friends and like people that i would now consider like to be like Mm -hmm. very close to me and it's so crazy like i just kind of had to be like a little bit more open to the Mm -hmm. idea of like oh like i don't have to be like so gang gang with the people i already Mm -hmm. have like Mm -hmm. and allow other people in because the like new friendships that i have formed like they just give me like different perspectives you know than what i already have and i feel like sometimes you can get so used to uh, the perspectives that you already have around you that you're not open to new ones. Right. But when you're open to new ones, you realize like, dang, like that kind of opens up like a whole new like lane in your life that yeah. you yeah. might not have even considered if you just stuck mm-hmm. with the people that you have around you. See, yeah. I definitely think it depends on like, um, just based on what Nikki said, like what or how you kind of grew up because I grew up like I have a lot of friends from like, you know, childhood. And so that's why now it's a lot more like, not that saying that it's like a lot more like, like I'm tight knit on like accepting new friends, but it's just like, it's just I was I was younger when I was younger. I'm like, okay, 
I'm friends with this person, I'm friends with this person. I'm friends with so many people from so many different walks of life. And it's like, okay, cool. These people stuck around. And now it's just like moving forward. I don't need to be so like fluid. Like yeah. it's, I already have yeah. like the, the, the solid. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm going to have a hard time being deciding who's yeah. going to be my bride. You know what I mean? Like it's yeah. just like, it's, it's, it's already there. I will say too, another thing that kind of like taught me, like, even though like I'm still working through this, but a lot uh, when I lost my dad, I kind of knew who my mm. friends Ooh. were. Yep. Yeah. And when, so like, mm-hmm. I'm not going to lie. Like it, that, that was a major, like, and I, I, I don't know how to explain it. People who know know y'all understand. Yeah, like, it's when you go through you know, a traumatic yeah, situation, like, and you just know that who's people that there, who was there, there who showed up. Like yeah. there are like people like for example like Chris, you were able to come, but I knew you were there for me. Like mm-hmm. I felt you. You know what I'm saying? But it's like there are some people I was just like, dang, like I didn't see you. Yeah, and like I and like you made it clear you didn't want your present to be known. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To me, mm-hmm. it's like. That's not a friend. No, no, I definitely because feel, there are people I don't talk to every day, but if something like that happens, yeah, I'm there. Like there, that's just how I am. Because yeah. that's just who I am, my character, yeah, you know. Yeah, but right. to me, I don't want people like that around me. Because mm-hmm. like, damn, you. Because when you lose somebody or anything traumatic goes on, you're like, you a village. You need yeah. you need people around. Right. Or even for it's like, important. For, it helps. For, you know what I mean? So for major changes, because I yeah. feel like when I was when I was moving when I moved to Florida, bruh, I feel like I needed so much support just from like the people around me, and and I and that's so crazy because I feel like that's the time where I started losing the most friends like mm. it was so crazy to me because i'm like dang like i'm going through this new transition and i'm like i don't know what i'm doing and i'm confused and it's just like everybody just kept dropping off dropping off dropping off and that's why mm. i was like that was the stage i, I had a hard time accepting that because i'm like what is happening like it wasn't even just one single-handed thing that was just like okay this is like we're not for it's just kind of some people just stopped talking some people like you know we just lost the beat and it just was like bro mm. like i don't get it but i think like the people who did you know kind of rally behind me was the people who like are still here today you know what I mean the people right. who like yeah. mean the most now because it's just like damn like although I didn't say like hey y'all I need support like kind of like everybody knew I was mo- leaving you know what I mean yeah, so right. like the people that did show up just kind of like it just kind of like you know put them up a notch mm-hmm. I'm like damn like y'all really do fuck like fuck with like my well-being like right. how I feel mm-hmm. like mentally so that means a lot too so I do, I do feel like the people who are there through traumatic situations or just like big changes in your life kind of like right those People who st- those are people who stick out, yeah. like yeah. you know, Miles and that are able to yeah. acknowledge, like when you're going through something, yeah. able to right. be a friend for yeah. you while yeah. you're going. Because yeah. some people they don't even know how to be a friend, but it's sometimes it's not. You don't have to really say much; just be there, like right. you know, you just know? like people don't understand. It's the little thing for me. It's the little thing that count. Like, hey, you just thought of you today. How are you doing? Like this and that, or like you know, just saying sending scriptures. Like those are like to me like that's qu- great qualities of a friend. Like mm-hmm. that is someone that always has you in mind when things are going on. Right. Like there is always certain things going. I'm like. If I'm watching something, I mean, like, oh, my God, let me hit someone. Like, th- this this is something I know they'll be interested. Like, mm-hmm. stuff like that. You know, those are friends. But yeah. I don't know. So let me ask y'all. And, and y'all might have called me petty in this instance. Screaming. Um, so actually pretty recently, I had met somebody and I was trying to, like, really get to know them and really find out about them and, you know, whatever the case may be. And we started to have a conversation. And, oh, my gosh, I hope, like, PETA doesn't come for me or something like that. <laughs> but um, this person, they happen to be a vegan. Okay. And mm. I kind of started to realize, I'm like, I don't think that you and I are going to vibe very well. And I think a, a lot of it did have to do like with their like veganism. Mm. <laughs> because pe- I'm sorry, <laughs> vegans <laughs> like to make being vegan a character. Like, no, you, no, like, yeah, like yeah, yeah, bro, yeah. you're not between, immortal because you're eating plants. Between like, vegans and atheists, <laughs> between vegans and atheists, it's like the bro, attention Olympics is too much. Bro. It's too much. Yeah. Like y'all trying to turn bro. the whole world into a vegan. Like I'm okay with my chicken, please. <laughs> and that's the and thing. And, alone. I, that's and that's the thing. thing. I kind of like, and I felt kind of bad because I'm like, dang, like, am I judging this person too quickly? But like, it was just like certain things. Like, I'm like, dang, no, this goes back to your veganism. Like, it, <laughs> not your veganism. <laughs> I just feel like, like you it's religion, right? Bro. Like, I'm not gonna be able to like hit you up and be like, hey, let's go to juicy seafood. Like, and I could. Like, there's just certain I'm things. Screaming. Like, they can get potatoes and corn. This was this was this actually is very petty. This is no, not what I thought you were gonna no, say. No. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't even that. But it was <laughs> like definitely go and get some potatoes and corn. No, and, it was one of those things. Enjoy they, themselves. I just felt a little bit judged on like my lifestyle choices yeah like due to like the, i'm like dang i'm like you're really disciplined but i'm not there yet you know but can i ask you a question do you feel like a lot of that judgment is projection yeah, yeah. Projection of because a lot of times like and i've been in a situation where like somebody will tell me something oh, i didn't tell you because i thought you would judge me and i'll be like what you're telling me is i think i would judge you for and i it's know like, that's so crazy it almost seems like you judged yourself first yeah. and then it's like you didn't want to tell yeah why you yes. had a chance to because and it's just like a lot of times in a situation we see people in their lives other things that 
decisions that they make or choices they make and we like unconsciously judge ourselves no and project it to actually the other no person. i think he i think that he was definitely judging me because he also brought up the fact like he was like yeah you're an overthinker so therefore you have anxiety and I'm like, yeah, he was putting labels, bro. It was a lot. I was like, <laughs> what does that? A lot. What does that mean? Like, just because I he need to go to school and be I, a over, doctor. No, for real. Because I overthink now. I have I'm an anxious person. You know, <laughs> like, so I just like, you know what? Maybe we're just like, yeah, you and I are and just not okay. gonna align. You, but you know, it's crazy. It's okay. Like, it's okay. You are self aware. You know, this is just not gonna work for me. So then, how y'all feel about like having friendships with people that like maybe have like different like religious beliefs or political views? I, I or, would never be friends with somebody who's gonna judge me. Yeah, well, yeah. Did, yeah, but I also but religious belief, I'm friends with different yeah people. who have a different yeah. but like I mean like, like not like under the umbrella of like Christianity but like yeah no people, like Me people too. that so, are like Muslim yeah. or yeah. Buddhist yeah. or we can atheist. coexist like that doesn't yeah. make you I can't yeah. be friends with the atheist I'm dead <laughs> I, I, I think, just I just feel like <laughs> that's just that's her they yeah. just don't hate God they just don't believe in him yeah. right? some, and, some and, of them and, don't but. and the thing for me is just one of those things where it's like with the way that my faith is aligned we're just not aligned and mm-hmm, and yeah. and i don't want it to ever come off like i'm trying to like put my beliefs mm-hmm. on your lifestyle and there's things that i talk about like you know i could just be walking and be like you know what thank you god mm-hmm. you know like and i don't want you to ever feel uncomfortable oh, yes, around me there, there are people that will <laughs> let you know that they don't you like that. Oh, get away from me no, <laughs> there are people that will, hell. no like, guys but there are people that'll be like i'm not comfortable when you do that excuse no yeah i but think I you at least have to believe in something you have to yeah. believe in yeah. 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 No, because if not, then i just doubt your intellect because there's yeah. no way you think we just but i think came here the reason why okay man, i don't monkeys. know if friends is a strip but I, the reason i feel like we can coexist is because i've done it before like I think I don't know. I think she she was Muslim, but she practiced um, like she did like tarot card reading. Yeah, I was gonna ask like, can you be friends with like a Wiccan? And um, well, she yeah. was getting into it's it. Just, you know, can't do nothing like, with me. Yeah, like I think I'm able to separate like the person and the religion, basically. Yeah. Like, well, for one, she was my roommate, so it kind of just happened to be like mm. you know, and it was a middle. Like she was going through the the whole transition <laughs> while we were living. <laughs> now so she became I just, a witch in the no. house. <laughs> Because <laughs> I said, I said, hold on, what kind of cards are these? Oh wait, excuse me. Crystal, oh. Crystal walk in. Let, 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 let me wash my hands. <laughs> no, the thing is, no, because one day I walked in the house and there was salt outside the door. I'm like, you know, oh, I'm like, wait. no, oh, she was I a witch. Said, she was a witch. No, Keeping the was, vampires out. She wasn't no, a witch. It the was craft. A, but it was one of her. Um, <laughs> that was from her. Um, from her culture, like they put salt outside their door. But that is just certain oh, okay. things that she would do that I just it, I didn't really understand or I didn't. But you know, they do that in the Nigerian culture too. They do to keep like bad dreams out mm-hmm. that's technically or bad spirits out mm-hmm. but um i just think that i don't know like we were still like we didn't really like how often were we actually talking about what she does that's never true. you know what i mean so it, it for me it was just like okay cool because at first i was like i was very very skeptical but at the same time like when i said that never came up like even me and my spiritual it never came up so i think that's why we were able to coexist because it's like okay we're friends outside of like or roommates outside of um you know your mm-hmm. your religious beliefs so mm-hmm. it's like okay cool like if you want to mm-hmm. go get something to eat let's go it's not like okay well let's talk about god first let's talk about yeah. how your tarot card y'all can go. actually have and other then, yeah, conversations like we, we we never talked about that and on top of it we were in school together so it was always yeah. just like school was our common ground right i think as long as you're like respectful about it because i was definitely yeah. in a situation lately where and like you said religion h- hardly comes up and maybe it's my ignorance i do sometimes assume that most people are like christian mm-hmm. Christians. Yeah. Mm-hmm. and so someone was saying something and it was like oh well you know what they were just like making a joke about the church because that's like something people do now and they referenced something that was in the bible like a verse like da-da-da. and i had to tell them i was like oh that's i don't even mean to be like a preacher but i was like that's not in the bible like that's not in the bible she was like well i feel like well this verse i was like it's not like and i think that's where a lot of misconceptions lie because you're quoting something as a reason why you don't believe in Christianity or why you don't follow and Christians. And it's not even in the And Bible. it's not even in the Bible. You know, and I think... Or something that Christians practice. Yeah, so I feel like it was a good conversation to have because... I mean, you educated that person. Yeah, I was able to educate her and she, I was able to see, like, from the outside perspective how people view Christianity. Mm-hmm. So I think sometimes it's good to have healthy conversations and not also be, t- like, have your religion tested, but it is good to, like, mm-hmm. know just where you are. Mm-hmm. So have y'all ever had um, friends that might change like the dynamic of your relationship or like they kind of like hover over your relationship to the point where like they affect it like they kind of get in the way like a romantic mm-hmm. relationship yeah. yes get in the way like or no, like nah. you no no get in the way is crazy here? yeah, yeah that, no. that's like, so y'all don't think that, like are so, we dating too so you don't think that your friends have ever like changed your judgment on 
like a situation just based on like what they're saying. Like you might have been going in one direction, but then your friend comes to you and you're like, and they guess you up. Yeah, or like yeah, you, you know, like you're like fr- red flags. Like if a friend brings red flags, no, no, not just red flags. Like what if a friend comes to you? Like what if you come to a friend for advice and you might have been thinking like oh, you know what? I'm gonna actually try to work things out with this person and then your friend is like no, nah, like no, nah, fuck him. He doesn't he doesn't deserve you and this and that. You're like you know what? This is my friend. If she's able to see that then maybe the, I really don't need to be with this person and the next thing you know, like you break up with the person. I feel like it's a, it's a, it could be a I've, good and a bad thing. I've never It could be a good and a bad a thing because on one hand, your friend really will, she knows, you know what I mean? Like she knows like <laughs> yeah. the nigga ain't shit and she really just seeing you being dumb behind that nigga. So maybe she's just telling you the truth and you just don't want to hear it. And may, maybe you need to hear like, okay, you know what? I didn't need to break up with him. But in the same breath, like <laughs> I, I, sometimes you may... It, the, the the way it's very important to leave when you want to leave because yeah. right. even if your friend tells you hey you know and you still may not want to leave and so it's just like you're gonna regret what the, she told what she told yeah but you're gonna regret you're gonna resent her for telling yeah. you you should have broke up with this nigga when it's like that's not what I really want but to do but what if also like they like change um your outlook so like maybe like on like sexual like adventures like what if your friend what if you come to your friend you're like you know what like I'm really thinking about trying like anal mm-hmm. uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and your friend's just like oh my gosh like why would you do that like that's really disgusting da, 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 da. and like now you don't want to try anal with your man no, no more no that no you can't be that easy you can't be that yeah, yeah, yeah i would say now. you gotta then you need to learn you wanna, yourself a little you bit more anal, do anal but yeah. you just need to learn yourself a little bit more like now that no your one, man should be determinative of that you and your man why is your friend yeah determining that? remember like, you have the final decision on what you want to do no one should be able to just like change your decision like that like that means you got to know yourself a little bit. Like, learn. Mm-hmm. Like, learn yourself a little bit more. Like, mm-mm. <laughs> but but <laughs> I, I will say, this thing about it, though, ain't nothing like that. But, <laughs> but in being honest, I will say that, like, maybe not as far as, like, as night and day. But mm-hmm, I will yeah. say that there are some views that maybe I, bef- I haven't met this person before. And I have, like, a certain view on something. And throughout our friendship, I realized, like, I may not notice in that moment. But later on, I'll be like, you know what? Before I met you, like, I would never think this was okay. Or I would never think to do this or this or that. And it's like, they've slowly like maybe influenced my mm-hmm. perspectives without like actively like right. telling me, but just and seeing their lifestyle may be like, mm-hmm. you may not want to try anal, you know, but it's like, you're like, damn, you make it look lit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or next thing cool. you know, you're taking money for sex. Like, you know, there's a lot oh of different things. That, like, <laughs> not a prostitution ring. <laughs> <laughs> you, would be, you would be surprised. Like there's some girls that come into yeah. friendships, like very naive. And like, they see that their friends are like living this lifestyle. And next thing you know, know yourself. But even that, to me, it feels like That's you should have crazy. some like discernment within yourself. To know yourself. Like, <laughs> yeah, because there's there's no way that like Brittany could come to me and be like, oh, girl, you really need to do this. And I'm going to just be like, yeah, I'm going to do it. No, <laughs> but, but she's not going to say say like that. She's not going to say she'll say she'll say. Girl, you will not give us what I did last night. Mm-hmm. It was lit. It was, she'll make it sound so good. And you'll be like, girl, yeah, that's crazy. Or, and then after six months, you'll, you're back in your head. You may not want to do it. But next time it. somebody tells you about it, it's not going to be a shock. Or like, no, oh, I just that. That, like, mm-hmm. she might be like, mm-hmm. she Still. might be like, hey, <laughs> I want you to, hey, I want you to come on an all expensive paid trip with me. And that's you to buy. And, you know, next thing, <laughs> and next thing you know you show up on the trip and you didn't realize that your friend gets down the but way why she does you ask questions yeah that? like honestly and truthfully if you have a hoe friend you know they're a hoe you you know i actually don't think so no no no. you do you know you that know. your friend they, they you, you know your friend yeah. you know how your friend get down yeah you've seen her get down yeah. you, you've seen her in, in different and mm. different environments yeah you've seen her when she gets drunk yep. you've you know. seen her when she's sober yep you've seen how she turns up mm-hmm. under certain circumstances you know these mm-hmm. things but do you feel like you can keep a whole friend around forever if if that's what you, if it's if you're okay with it that's you can be a hoe like, yourself. E- like even in the <laughs> that's true but if you're not a hoe and you have a hoe friend do you feel like she's able to like walk with you in the sense of like your singleness in a relationship and in a marriage that's my friend it has nothing yeah. to do with what I, I got again going on. i think you can separate the two yeah. because i do have i Damn. I I had a friend. Uh, <laughs> damn. Okay, but okay. Let me say that I had a friend who was very liberate, sexually liberated, and like outside of her like business, she was a very good friend. You know what I mean? So like, I think that again, I, certain things should be able to be separated. Like mm-hmm. you know, when I was single, it was we didn't skip a beat. When I was in a relationship, it was the same. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So it just, I guess it just depends it's on. Just like, your friend, like yeah, yeah like so I don't know. friends. I feel like sometimes it's kind of hard to keep the, like a, a certain type of friend yeah, around you. If like, they're sloppy though, Nikki, you know what I mean? Like, if they're yeah. sloppy and they're starting to, you know, get to, it's, especially when you're in a relationship, next thing you know, sometimes like birds of a feather. Yeah, it's, yeah, like I've we've said it like sometimes. P- 
people can cloud your judgment on certain things. And I think that's why sometimes it's important to like have people around you um, that are with your likeness and like in they also are like Nikki, it's giving you one of the people who yep. when you get a relationship you start cutting yeah, your friends cut everybody off because no, how they cool to be friends with when you single you get a relationship no, and now they're not right. cool and they're not and cool, cool like, oh, you, all you hoes is single <laughs> like oh you my just God. Like, wow you're I don't, your views on let me find out so like, another one night stand <laughs> I don't want to say that I don't want to say that but I'm also saying like Gosh, like you don't get tired. Okay, like it's, kinda, it's one of the same things that like, we say with men. Oh my like, god, yeah, one of them got a man. Yeah, one of them drive a bitch. They, wanna, they, they all want to fuck. Oh my god, y'all Sorry. listen, Hunchos. Great guy. Not even that. Like, okay, like we talk about men all the time. We're like, you know, sometimes like married men, they'll keep like their single friends around, and their f- single friends might be like wilding. Is that someone that you will really want your like husband to be around? But all they're the time? a reflection of your husband. Mm-hmm. But that's what I'm saying. Like so, so he doesn't want. He's not wild anymore. So okay. So you, if you marry a okay. wild nigga, so and let's he's got wild niggas friend, around. Yeah, he's him, a wild ass nigga, he, <laughs> and now he's a wild married nigga. Yeah. yeah. So let me ask. He's just okay. not wild no more. Yeah. Okay. So let me ask y'all this: Like, if you have a hoe friend around you, does that now mean that you're a hoe? No, that doesn't no. necessarily. But it's a reflection of where you were in a certain time in your it's life. A, yeah. Really, you think so? Like yes. you have to. Ah. We just, we just talked about people bonding there, over there I don't certain think, things that happen in life. and you know. I don't think that just because you have a whole friend, that means that you had, at one point, you were a hoe. Well, a whole it's friend, not, but if not, you have of all your friends are hoes then it would like okay yeah you're a hoe right like, you know what i'm saying like you just you you're not an outlier you just found a way out like, <laughs> you gotta say don't cry you're not an outlier you just found a way out like, That's a for real. You know, you're like bro i'm just saying like i i, I none of my friends are hoes but i'm just saying like i could be friends with a hoe and be in a relationship like her whole ways has nothing to do with what i got going on that's my friend like yeah. until next thing and you i want to like you say i don't mean the man in the bed next God forbid, i don't mean yes. hoe in like a derogatory way yeah. i yeah. just mean somebody who you know, you know like sexually you know, felt, liberated yeah sexually liberated you know like she get down she's a little bit more she's a little bit more free yeah well you yeah. know with what she but does. i do feel like if it starts getting sloppy then obviously you don't that's have to start he, you know because there's, right. there's certain things that like you know you have to even with you being sexually liberated as an adult you just have to be responsible like if you mm-hmm. sit here missing work all, not even missing work because work is work but like missing important Low events key. and like certain things it's kind of just like all right, cool. Now we're going to have to draw the line here. Right. You know what I mean? We're going to have to pull back. But right. I think some women cut off that friend from their circle once they get in a relationship or married because you're afraid he's going to go after yours. Mm, or she's going to go after yours. Uh, I'm t- I'm, I'm going to be honest I've with you. I've never had that fear. You, actually have, to, have, you actually have to be very aware mm-hmm. of like some women I and mean, some men. Like you'd be really, really surprised. Like you would think that that person's your friend and you're like, you know what? Oh, she's just sexually liberated and this and that. And then next thing you know, the sexual liberation is now turned around on your life. And <laughs> now she, I mean, she don't have to be your friend to fuck your man. That's, but I know, but part. I agree. But like, closer though. I mean, but still, like, if she wants to fuck your man, she'll She's fuck your man. That's what she I'm trying to say. She doesn't have to be a friend at all. That's yeah, facts. Like, like, it has nothing to do with Why are we, her like, it's black and white. Yeah. Like, if they want to do it, they're going to do gonna it. She's going to do it. So, like, and you, them being your friend, like, to me, I, I'd rather nothing. low-key have you a little closer. Because now I really can control your movements. But if I'm not your friend, that means that you can do whatever you want. Y'all can have meetups. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. Because we've heard about, we've heard about women that, like, were married and then they're pregnant and now their friend is, like, fucking their like husband like mm-hmm. it, it happens sure. a lot their it friends been fucking their husband you just married him sorry oh my god <laughs> i need to stop i'm on a roll <laughs> all right this could be our last question but i want to know um how do you think your friends would describe what type of friend you are oh um dang because uh, uh, I kind of want to chew on off, off of everybody else's answers. <laughs> no, <laughs> man. But, but. You'll go first. No, yeah, I mean, I can. <laughs> but I will say that they think that I'm like the no judgment friend. Because I truly, like, you can tell me anything and it's going to be like whatever. And it's so crazy because I see how, like, sometimes when people are, like, hesitant to come and I'm like, that's what you have to say? Like, Screaming. I think I'm definitely the no judgment friend or definitely the friend who's going to give good advice. They all come to me for advice. Like, I think those two are the things they're going to be like, yeah, for sure. Oh my God. Might not answer the phone, but I'm gonna be there. <laughs> I'm gonna be there. Um, for me, I'm definitely a um, a very loyal friend. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, I'm very honest. Um, I, I I'm pretty judgment free. It got to be something really wild, mm-hmm. right? To, to just, shock me, right. yeah. For me to just be like, whoa, like what? I murdered somebody. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, turning you. You're going to jail. Yeah, you're going to jail. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, but I'm not going to turn I'm you in. But you going to jail. Um. Yeah, like just very honest, loyal. Um, 
I reciprocate a lot of the energy that I receive. So like, you know, if a, if a friend is, if you're good to me, I'm good to you. Basically. Mm-hmm. Um, that's, yeah. That's really good. just the basics. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I guess for me. Oh, wait. Ooh. Sorry. I'm about to say, we should talk about what you've, okay, go ahead. What we feel like everybody is. You know what I mean? Okay, because yeah. I was like, we're talking about ourselves here, but like, what do we feel like? Like, what do I feel like Michelle is oh, as yeah, a friend? Yeah, but go yeah, ahead, go ahead. Makes sense. I guess I would say for me, I would consider myself like, I, the thing is, y'all saying such deep stuff, but I'll be honest, I just feel like I'm like the down for whatever friend. Like, I feel like, yeah. if you hit me up, like this, nine times out of ten, whatever you have planned, I don't give a fuck what it is, I'm going to say yes. Like, I'm, I'm yeah. rarely ever going right. to like, say no. Say right. no. Like, I don't care if it's just like, hey, can you do this or da da da. Unless I physically cannot do it, like, I feel like I'm very dependable. Like, I consider right. myself like a dependable friend. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Laurel is so, important. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it's good for you. Mm, I would say that I am the uh, reasonable friend. I know you're gonna say that. Some like voice of reason. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, like I, can see that. I mean, people sometimes might l- think it comes off as judgment, but what mm-hmm. people really don't realize is like I'm not judging you, but I do think that sometimes like you could do better, you know. Yeah. And so sometimes in my advice, I'm gonna be like. Mm, you probably could have like went about yeah. it a little bit different right. mm-hmm. and you might think it's judgment but really like deep down inside I'm not judging nobody like it doesn't change like how I look at you it doesn't change how I consider you to be my friend it, doesn't, it really doesn't change like you really could tell me like you had an orgy yeah. the other night and I'm just gonna be like oh, okay like well dang like I'm like, how was it? Yeah, I'm like, yeah, no, I mean, it's how it was yeah. it. But I'm like, how was, like, it? was it? Like, what made down? you do that now at this point in your right. life? Like, what changed? Right. Nah, Nikki, don't like what? Right, that's why I don't talk about that. Because I'm a hot. <laughs> and I'll be getting it. <laughs> um, I would say I'm a very dependable friend. I'm caring. I am a friend that you can call me and literally like, it could be like, you're just upset. I will literally sit on the phone with you like for hours just talk about everything, mm-hmm. talk you through it, talk you off the cliff. Maybe you jumped off the cliff, talk you, you know, talk you through everything. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm very like, I want to say I'm working on being a more transparent friend, mm-hmm. but I can always say that I'm a friend that's going to always be in your corner. Like they all know, like there's any, it could, I could literally be when I used to work in the office, a friend could call me like, hey, Paulette, I need you to ride with me on some shit. Like, I'm going to go with you. Because mm-hmm. one thing about me, I'm a supportive friend. Like, I, I mean, yes. don't get me wrong. I ain't going to tell you wrong during the action. But I am a friend that will hold you accountable. I'm, a, You know, so, mm-hmm. but I'm always supportive. I'm always going to be there for you no matter what. Like, I'm a friend that, I'm going like, to fight your battles for you because you can't handle it. What's mm-hmm. up? Like, <laughs> See, I think everybody, you know? everybody got themselves yeah. I think you know? for Paulette, mm-hmm. I would say that, be nice. No, yeah. <laughs> Why would I be mean? I would no, say that. Crystal. Wait, why would I say something mean? Okay, I, without like, this is just what the top I of my head. You. You're, I would say that you're like the comedic relief friend. Oh, like, thank you. Yeah, like I feel like Dang, if I was going through something, I would, yeah, I would talk to Paulette to just kind of like, serious? okay, Paulette, stop. I'm just no, I, no I would definitely now. talk to Paulette to just kind of like, you know, just ease my mind, just be like, okay, you know, it's cool. Same thing with Nikki. I think you got yours on the on the money. Like I think you're definitely the re- the voice of reason. Like I would be like, okay, Nikki. Like here's both parties. What do you think? You know what I mean? Michelle is definitely also like yeah, the, the like dependable. Michelle is yeah. not. She gonna if you invite her somewhere, she's gonna come. Yeah. Michelle like definitely yeah. the dependable friend. She's gonna come Aww. and just be there for anything. Yeah, and also Michelle also be is a motivational friend too. Mm-hmm. Like she'll like just pull up and tell mm-hmm. you like, hey, I think you should do this. And I'm like, I don't think I can. Michelle would give you all the motivation to do yep. like to literally rob a bank, and I just be like, yeah, <laughs> okay, sure. So yeah, I think I'm everybody right. got theirs on on the money. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. I can tell you're a loyal friend because again, your friend, I, like even your your dynamic with all your friends is very like close knit. So I can tell like you're like yeah. the super loyal, like you know. Oh, yeah, and it's I so funny it. because like Tan, like no, you're like the realest because I'm not going. Yeah, I you can call tell, Tana. Like, you got you got real bones in your body. Yeah, though, like, I, yeah. I can go. I can, I can go through something. Experience. I can experience something. I'm like, let me just call Tan. I know she gonna be honest. Yeah. Like, I need to hear. I feel it. Like you're an ideal older yeah. sister. Like, you know, like, like I would. I would vote on you. And and you don't judge. Yeah. You don't judge yeah. at all. Like yeah. you'll even start off like I'm not judge. I hope you know yeah. I'm not judging you. I'm like okay, cool. Like, yeah. and yeah. then you'll give an honest advice, but then at the same time you're like, but I can see where your mind's at though. You know, so. I was like, because we all touch the face of it. I want to do. Crystal did. So. Okay, I feel you, Michelle. Tana, I agree with the... Because the thing is, 
I know you threw Nikki, but you definitely get big sister vibes. This one's saying you have oh. you're the ideal yeah. like because I can t- I can come, I feel like even with not, us not being like super close, I feel like I can come to you and like, tell you anything and it yeah. would be no judgment. Oh yeah, you're so wise. You know, sometimes like, older yeah. sisters are like <laughs> not wise. Very like especially that, sometimes older sisters are very like strict by the book. But yeah. I can tell yeah. it's just like you there's know. some leniency there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. But then too much. But then sometimes it's like yeah, not it's, it's, like, it's like too yeah. much. Tana be keeping me on my leash sometimes. I'd be like, dang. Yeah, no. Sometimes I'll be like, Nikki, you know, just kind of reel it in. No, it's true. Because even Paula tell me, I like Tana, but I'll give Paula some advice and Tana probably be like. Well, Tana told me this. I'm like, well, go with that. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I'm like, Loki, that sounds good. <laughs> I would say uh, for Nikki, Nikki is the boy. Nikki is the person where if you call Nikki about some shit, you don't think you in the right. And Nikki will evaluate you done, all everything. Not, like, Nikki will evaluate uh, everything. Like, why did By you, the time you done, yeah. you were wrong. She's she's like, like, yeah, she's on but, the other side of things. But you yeah. said this one thing. Why didn't you just? I'm like, damn. <laughs> like, yeah, you she's definitely me. gonna evaluate all parameters. Yeah, yeah, for real. And Paula, you definitely ride or die friend. Like Paula, she'll uh, mm-hmm. even if it's even if it's bad. What it do? <laughs> yeah. You ride or die. yeah, like yeah. you, you ride or die, Crystal. Crystal, think about Crystal is like you're definitely like. You're the person who, like, you're a historian. Like, I'll talk to Chris about something mm. later on. She'll be like, Michelle, how did that happen? You'll follow up. And I'm like, dang. Uh, you I'm sure are a follow-up person. Really? And it, it, it yeah. might even be months. She's like, so, oh, yeah. whatever happened, whatever happened with, with, we haven't really yeah. touched base. I'm like, bro, what? And it's just like, I'm like, dang. It's like, we're going through it. And it's just like, mm-hmm. you'll be like, no, actually, Michelle, like, you actually should have done this. Did it. I'm like, you know what? Dang, like, I feel right. you for, <laughs> for making me oh, face dang, that. Because I was going to follow up. And definitely, like, Crystal, she's my creative friend. Because I feel like we've been having conversations. And Crystal's been making these lookbooks, y'all. And I feel like, you know, back in the day, when people used to have tumblers I don't know if y'all remember this oh, like, yeah. I books. still do I love Tumblr I feel like Chris if you was in that era you yeah. could love to like go viral because you I'm should screaming. start Pinterest <laughs> I'm screaming you, no back. you should start but I, you know I was I, I, I was a Tumblr girl for a minute I'm not gonna lie like it was a couple of things that went viral but it just kind of like you know I'm very much an inside no, like I don't that like bad, that kind of attention I feel you at this point yeah, girl like, but you know what Pinterest it. you can just like the little outputs and stuff like that you just put mm-hmm. it up you don't have to have yeah, your face and like, in there yeah, yeah. Like, and it's like inspo yep. like literally yeah. literally see that's what I'm saying the motivational friend was just uh, like, yeah. like you should do this and yeah. I'm like no, maybe yeah. I should <laughs> Crystal has so many things she could do and it's just like just gotta yeah. do it no yeah. for real appreciate it all of us though cause like what yeah. Paulette with the makeup yeah, low key mm-hmm. Nikki with the home inspo the floral all the other stuff mm-hmm. Nikki has like the interior design eye I try and Michelle, you have the fashion eye. Mm-hmm. Oh I yeah, mean, you oh, can yeah. low key be a personal like stylist. the uh, mm-hmm. the not. I don't want to say not normal, but like you just have unique. Oh, uh, eclectic. Yeah. yeah, you have a very unique. Yeah. I mean, like look, you have like <laughs> yeah, a skull, a yeah, rim. Like, it's, giving, it's cute. Like, <laughs> when you're wearing it after Halloween. You're ex- <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> after <laughs> Halloween is crazy. It's cute. <laughs> no, no. we are gonna talk about that. But now. yeah, no, <laughs> I'll say because I want to do it now too, Nikki. Like you're reasonable and you're like. You're like the person you go to when it's like you want that calm. Like you're like, you know what? She's not TTG all the time. She is most. Never mind. But she's not <laughs> TTG. But she is someone you could come to when it's like you are turned up and it's like no, like come down a little bit. Like it's not that deep to now start slapping folks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, thank you. Right. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> No, Michelle Loki is my deep, Lo- Michelle Loki is my therapist. <laughs> like I'm not gonna lie. Like I can see that she's right there. I'm not like you know. Honestly, that could okay. be a great profession for you because you know how to listen yeah, and you know how to speak when it's like the right time to speak mm-hmm. like and two like you sometimes see things totally like to me like you're sometimes on the outside looking in and like you're like looking at every piece of the puzzle and piecing it together and making it make mm-hmm. sense yeah that's sometimes i'd be like dang like yeah how did michelle see that yeah and, and you know and it's like and then you're thinking like bro like perspective i need just... to channel my thoughts a little bit like it's all over the place like when it's it should be right here <laughs> tana of course big sister you're always there like honestly like you already know. Yeah. <laughs> and Crystal, honestly, you're like the little sister I never had. Aww. Because like when we have conversations, I, I don't think I ever tell you this, but like we be on the phone just like, oh my God, like Crystal and I are like sisters. Like we can yeah. literally, we, the That's other right, last right. week, we, we were on the, on the phone, phone for like, like four hours. <laughs> <laughs> she just, caught me in the library. We were just literally talking. I'm over here in the thing. Ta- we're just like having so many conversations. I'm like, dang, yeah, like we on this is like a little sister I don't Aww. have. And yeah. so I really appreciate your friendship for no, real. Because sure. like I've known you know, Crystal. Remember, I told you how I knew. <laughs> yeah. I knew Crystal's family, but I never knew Crystal. And it's like, remember when Nikki introduced you to the girl? I'm like, who? What do you mean, Crystal? Then don't and tell y'all the rest was sister history. And the call, I was like, huh? And then the rest was sense. history. So, like yeah. one day we'll actually go into details because how yeah. I met these ladies, it was, it really yeah. was because of Nikki. But yeah, again, like, like low key, Nikki yeah, was. Yeah, it really was because. But yeah. it's crazy because when you think about it, it's like we should have, we already should have been met. We already known Crystal. When I say they came at the right time, like that was at a time where my undergrad experience was dark. For when I first 
first mm-hmm. started. It was. Yeah, you always I say that until you met us. school until I met y'all. Like, I was I was going to transfer because I was I, just like, I, know I came from a like very, very small high ones. school. <laughs> so, like, all my high school friends, they went to, like, North Texas. They went to, like, you know, mm-hmm. closer places. And I'm mm-hmm. five, six hours away. I'm like, I'm the only one here. Like, I don't know yeah. anybody. And I'm mm-hmm. not like a, I'm nice, but I'm not friendly. So, and, I'm not going to, person who's going to get up and make friends. I'm right. just not. Like, but if you'll come and speak to me, I'll speak back. But I'm not going to get up and just work the room. So, we, me and Nikki just happy to work together. And I really was going to, that was going to be my last semester. My mom was like, just finish this semester and then come home. And I was like, okay, bet. I met Nikki. And then when she introduced me, because... I'm sorry, Dallas and Houston girls are different. And UCSA was majority Houston girls. Yeah, so I, I just here first. I just couldn't mm-hmm. I couldn't just get into the niche of like again making mm-hmm. friends and like just finding like a core group. And then mm-hmm. when like when they came around, I'd say we hung out one time and like I say the rest was history. Like I, it was just like it was just like sisters from there. Like just, yeah, no. just like, yeah. Like, and like every I know everyone was jealous. Cause like oh, yeah. we were a, big <laughs> the new girl on the we was a big solid group. And, and then here like, I come, the shoot. new girl, and it's like, yeah, okay, no, who is she? They were so I could tell like, okay, sorry. I could tell like the Okay, you know what? We the people, about yeah, like I can just tell like a lot of people were like hating on Crystal because she hung out with us, but it's like no, she was always gonna hang out with us. Like first of all, yeah, we're Evo. First of all, we're from Dallas. Dallas. Like and there's so many Dallas. things. Yeah, <laughs> come on. Like she was always gonna be with us. Like it was never gonna yeah. be you. So like understand that. Yeah, and so yeah, it was never gonna be you. So, I would yeah. say. Um, I guess let me just do my my little quick spiel. Um, I would say for Michelle. Michelle is like Guess me it's so me. crazy like <laughs> <laughs> y'all say that I can I can describe myself as like the voice of reason but I actually feel like Michelle's my voice of reason Aww. you know like Michelle is like a person I can go to I'm like you know what Michelle's so level headed that I know like if I can't see like things correctly I know Michelle is and like mm-hmm. sometimes I talk to Michelle but, like oh my gosh like how did you make me feel like dang you're right like I should have done that differently <laughs> yeah. so Michelle's oh. definitely like my mm-hmm. voice of reason uh, Tana you know the vibes. <sighs> Five, yes. six. I mean, <laughs> Tana is like, she's my whole heart. Yeah. Like, so Aww, it just is too. what it is. Like, that's that's my dog. To give you me. know, <laughs> that's my girl. <laughs> um, Crystal. <sighs> Crystal, I think that whenever it comes to you, Crystal, I truly love you. And I feel like it's so crazy. Like, I'm still like really getting to mm-hmm. know you mm-hmm. a little bit more. Like, I don't want to say like, I don't know you, but I think that. I'm like getting to know the like adult version. Your, yeah. yeah, your adult <laughs> yeah. version. And I'm like like loving that more and more. Like I think that you're such a good friend and I think that you're yeah. such a good person. Um, so I'm excited to like really see like what our future yeah. holds. Because yeah. so you have changed. Like so you have. You have. Yeah. You've definitely yeah. changed. I don't think you've noticed your growth. No, the thing is yeah. I have, but it's also d- you, when you think other people don't see it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, no. like I notice, but I'm like, okay. oh, I know. Yeah. I, I've, yeah. I've noticed it. Because be little it. changes and I don't notice it immediately in myself. You yeah. know, yeah. I just right. be like, oh, okay, well, I used to do this shit, but I don't do it no more. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? So, And I think that like with you also have moving away for a while, like now you like kind of being like, more around I'm like I'm really getting to know you and mm-hmm. like I love the person that you are Aww. and so like I really appreciate your friendship Aww. Um, that was really nice uh, yeah, real. Paulette I'm glad what this is do? on record <laughs> <laughs> go back and listen to these things go ahead and tell and remind the people the people's yeah, favorite you the historian <laughs> type shit Paulette uh I mean, I think that everyone just kind of knows like Y'all Paulette and I's friendship <laughs> and our our history together. And like Paulette, like, oh my gosh, like you can't even put, I can't even put into words like how much I love you and oh, how I much I appreciate too. our friendship and how much like, Paulette's not even my friend at this point. Y'all know yeah, that I say I, that all I'm the time. A, like she literally, you yeah, plus one. You know the plus one. Like, <laughs> she is, um, and Paulette is like my feisty side. Like I'm just like I don't have that in me all the time. But mm-hmm. Paulette, yeah, I'd be ready to bop. The That's the devil. <laughs> Paulette the has that, and like Paulette low key be putting like that ammunition in my back. So like I really appreciate that. You feel me? <laughs> you always need that friend to like let you know like stand on it. Yeah, mm. show them now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I think that it's really unique, and I think that all of our personalities is actually yeah. like what makes Petty Party Podcast Definitely. and like what allows us to come off as authentic and as like personable as we are because literally like this is like friendships and like they're real friendships and y'all see them throughout our episodes and like y'all just get to see like a glimpse of who we are but like we're way cooler (laughs) in real life but 
Per. That's if you get to experience. No, for real. I think that's the beauty of it because like we're all so different. Like I'm yeah. not even. Yeah, we we're are. so different. Our personalities yeah. are so different. I feel like that's just what makes us mesh so well because yeah. we're able to give each other different perspectives. Okay. Even like y'all be thinking we here disagreeing. Like we're just offering different perspectives, and it's mm-hmm. like that's the beautiful thing because like you could say something, and I'm like I would never see it like that, or you could say something, and I'll be like no, you're you're going left, yeah. and you'll be like you know what I'm left. Thank you for saying that. Yeah. I, I did go right. left low key, right. so it's like it's good because we're able to like humble each other, and keep it, each other down to earth. So. But yeah, so I uh, we're gonna go ahead and conclude this episode. It is about to. Uh, it's gonna come out before Thanksgiving, right? It is the week yeah. before Thanksgiving. So I hope that everyone really enjoys like the holidays with their friends, their family, their friends that have turned into family, and I hope that Aww. y'all are able to take this episode and just really like enjoy it and evaluate the friendships in your lives and just like really appreciate everyone that you have around you and you know y'all's friendships grow, make new friends, whatever the case may be. Um, Make sure you follow us on all social media platforms. It is Petty Party Pod, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube. Make sure you watch us in 4K. Like, Her. look, like, I know y'all like our voices, but have you, you seen like it in a thong? Voice? Turn you on, turn you on. <laughs> This, this ain't nothing. Wait till you see it in a thong <laughs> on the podcast. <laughs> Period. On YouTube. Yeah. Um, Make sure, like I said, we're going to be having big announcements coming. So make sure you stay up to date with us. If you have any motos, Petty Chronicles, you can either email us, you can DM us. Whatever way you want to get it to us, um, we will see it. It's your girl, Just Nick, checking out. It's your girl. <laughs> uh, no, it's okay. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. You don't get a brain fog. Sorry. It's your girl, Makalette, signing out. Holla. Bye, y'all. It's Crystal. <laughs> see you next time. Bye, y'all. It's Michelle. And before I, we go, I do want to say thank you, Tana Perk. Oh, yes. Oh, it's been agreeing a to come on the podcast. Yes. Oh, yeah, y'all, yeah. we heard her up very last minute and she was still able to come and just like show up for us. And like, we always appreciate yeah, you. Yeah, no, of course. Of course. Like, of course. here he's like our older sister. You know what? And right. I, I would definitely <laughs> like, say that like, you're a, for me a pod fave. Like, there's, this oh, one for have like a crowd fave, but for me, like, you're definitely like yeah. one of a, a, a top guest. Right. Oh, you you and Brittany really are just, y'all are a dynamic duo. If y'all like Petty Party, if y'all like Petty Party podcasts, Subscribe yeah, to Hear You literally. Podcast. Listen literally. to their stuff because literally. they are funny as fuck. No, like, yeah. And, and y'all, they, they're down. weekly. They're weekly look. Yeah. <laughs> so, hey, you know when, when we off, down. they got they feel it. Yeah, <laughs> Dude, it definitely yeah. goes so. down. But thank y'all for having me. Like I really enjoy coming on with y'all. Like I appreciate y'all's dynamic. You know, the y'all to all talking about how different you guys are. You guys are so different and yet so similar. So mm-hmm. oh, I really do appreciate you. it. Thank you for having me. And of course, this is Tan. And thanks again, y'all. Bye. Bye. Give me a P. Give me a E. Give me a T.